have to quickly do the maths. <laughs> I've hit a button. We're live. Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Bye. Gris. I'm the game master. I'm joined by Connor playing as Blass. Yeah, you've got me for an hour and a half. We've got Connor for an hour and a half playing as Blass. Yeah. <laughs> a I'm monk. Done. I couldn't remember what you were. I was like, what is he? <laughs> Um, an hour and a half until the stream gets good, guys. <laughs> yeah, we've got the structure playing as the rogue pick. Damn. <laughs> that was harsh. It all <laughs> goes south. Excluded playing as the human cleric Nolan, who definitely hasn't yeah. died yet. He didn't have to kill him like that, Makado. <laughs> <laughs> and Makado playing as the tiefling um, Bart Snow. Is that Aiden? Oh, look, this. oh, it is Aiden. Time. And Aiden one. playing as Sam, apparently. Hello. <laughs> what happened? Too we much One Piece? get a pie today. <laughs> no. Everything oh. okay? You sound a bit down. I'm all right. Sure. I just want to find a way to join. Uh, I need to go <laughs> to a pin. You had your dinner? Mm. No. Okay. While Aiden is joining us, and since you weren't here uh, last time, Blas, quick recap of what happened. Traveling, shopping, buying carts and stuff like that. On the way to Waterdeep, which you guys have decided to go towards. Okay. You had to go through uh, Long Lake, your, uh, your hometown. <laughs> it's next to a lake that's long. Yes. Along the way there, approaching the village, you heard a weird melody. In the village, strange things were happening. Shops were empty. The mayor's house was empty. You were 100% sure that there never was a mayor or a shopkeeper. By some uh, investigation, using roles and skills, you discovered that there was a creature lurking underneath the, uh, the village that as long as it was singing its siren song, your mind just could not comprehend that it was there. And everything related to it being there, your mind made up, made up excuses for it. Like if a person suddenly disappeared, your mind would have been like, ah, oh, they must just be on a long journey or something like that. Like a par paradox correcting time loop. Yeah. And this really freakish looking creature that is shooting its heads out out of the ground was spiring, towering high over the, um, over the little village, uh, but imperceivable un until you broke the uh, effect of its uh, siren song. And they were this creepy, very pale skin... Uh, human face looking creatures but with big big mouths big human teeth a lot like a titan but with like sunken in eyeless eye holes and there were two of these heads just uh, hovering about the village who you guys uh, dealt with you defeated them uh, and then sam dove down uh, the hole after a few people got dragged down there and climbed back out sam went down there found the main body of the creature and torched it pretty much uh, burning it to get rid of it uh, all the remains of the creature are torched and burned as well, have turned into ash. But there is one hat still uh, intact that uh, Snow has on her. She cut it off from the uh, creature's neck. Um, so to you, Blas, you would have been under the effect of the siren song this whole time in the village. So you would have not even seen the others uh, fight and deal with this creature. But when the creature has been dealt with... Its magical effect immediately dissipates and you see like, you see and hear everything. You see the carnage of what's, le what's left over of the fight in the town square in the city. All the other townsfolk were also under this uh, spell. So there's a bit of a panic coming up in the city now. Like people are like coming outside of their houses, like just very confused. Like what's going on? What's happening? My, my head, it hurts. Like stuff like that. What would Blas be doing? Oh shit! Oh, I'll go to the to the guys and go. If you want to move me over there, Griff, because oh fuck it, I'll do it myself. Yeah. What the fuck's going? What the fuck is that? Uh, wish I could tell you, but we just found out about it. 
Oh god, it smells awful. Yeah, I mean, it's a dead creature. It's not going to exactly smell nice. Yeah, nobody knows what it is. People have tried to identify it, but no uh, success. But one of the roles made last session, you did learn that this creature is a aberration, which is the same type of creatures and stuff that uh, mind flayers uh, belong to, the same like overarching group race, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Oh, God. First, it was that other weird creature that cloaked itself in darkness. Now, now this fucking thing? The world is a crazy mess. What? Hang on a minute. This is the only one, right? Uh, one creature, two rest. heads. Okay. That we know of. Okay. Hmm. What that head that's here? I'm going to give it a little sniff and see if I like smell it anywhere else, you know, besides the one, the ones that have been burnt. Is yeah. Right? Oh, and in the... Uh... In the after effect of uh, the spell breaking and the town coming back to its uh, oh, no, to its senses, you realize that the disappeared people that your brain was making excuses for as to why they were not in the town, they're very clearly dead. This thing, this creature has eaten them. So the uh, general goods store uh, owner, Rimendel, is dead. The mayor of oh! the town, Mahogany Flutterbreeze, is dead. And one of the oh, town guards is dead. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Damn it, Bill died. We need a new mayor. Is that your first thought? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sam was shit, having a bit of an existential crisis last time, from what I remember, trying to deal yeah. with all this. <laughs> I'm going to wash yeah. all this fucking saliva off me. It's say, disgusting. And he thought me and Snow were just like just started dancing with Yeah, us. no, yeah. you would have seen her just walk, like shaking herself. She's covered in like blood and saliva. Like, it looks like something tried to eat her. So she's no like, carrying. She just walks away okay? looking traumatized and says nothing. <laughs> is Snow carrying the head on her person, or did you nope, leave it there? She just chopped the head off and pa like panic because it almost ate her and just walked to get washed. <laughs> okay, oh, I forgot he almost ate me as well. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna give a little <laughs> sniff, Chris. Okay. Uh, sniff. See if I can smell any others around here. Okay, do me a. Perception or investigation? Your choice. Inside. <laughs> uh, investigation. One day I'll get advantage because I've used my nose so much. Nope. <laughs> the low, shitty roll. Yeah, a dead. nine? Yeah. You take a, you take a good long sniff of this uh, creature's head. It smells rank, terrible. The worst smell you've ever smelled. Like rotting fish times times a hundred. Oh god, it's like that shitty Godzilla film. Oh god. <laughs> that's a, oh, a lot of fish. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of fish. I'm going to the river to, f to fucking wipe my nose. Ah, ah, face under the water. Ah, ah, are you two okay? No. no, we almost got even. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Where were you? What was that work? <laughs> I had a 12 hour shift. Sorry. <laughs> the glass blowers thing. <laughs> you went to blow I was, glass. I was blowing ass, I mean glass. Right? You didn't hear us I'd... screaming? Eat ass, smoke grass, sled fast. The last thing I remember was just beautiful singing. And that was it. Uh, I only disabled the uh, magic on me and you, Snow. Oh, right. Okay. I'm sorry. I wish I, wish I could have been of help, but I, I wasn't even aware that this happened until, like... In some sort of charm or something. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know. It's weird. Do you want me to help get some of the blood off you and that? Oh, um, okay. Sam dance. Okay. Sam's dancing. I was dancing. just trying to think, and it. Yeah, Sam dance or he starts dancing. <laughs> yeah. Didn't he start dancing all the fighting it? Yeah. It seems that all of you are seem kind of broken. What do you mean? 
you know, like spirits are a bit down and that. Was, so I was make... getting in, we'll do that. That is true, that is true. I, I could imagine uh, it'd be a horrible experience. Uh, is there any way that I can make you guys feel better? Go and uh, see if the people in the town are okay. Yeah, there's a lot more important things that need to be done now. Okay. Oh, yeah, Blair. You see check. these things when you were digging your graves, no one. It was too deep. I only dig the grave six feet under, not fucking 12 feet. <laughs> okay. Um, at the, I don't remember if you were here, Blast, but you also bet uh, Snow's parents. I was not here. Okay. The, the last message I got from you was, oh, would Blast throw in some money for a wagon? <laughs> yeah. And the last time I was actually here was uh, finishing off that shadow creature, and that was it. I've not done a role play since in this wonderful land. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just oh. if that impacts the roleplay at, so, uh, at any way, you did meet Snow's uh, parents and uh, they um, somewhat explained why she is a tiefling that didn't thought that she was a tiefling. Well, they did explain it, but... That was a great explanation that I understood 100%. <laughs> but, uh... There's a city uh, that's gone missing. A human city. It's in one of the hells. Instead of Vernon. Yeah. I remember and, Snow... Uh, the receiving racism. Interesting, yeah. She goes, oh, you didn't know. I'm adopted or something along those lines. <laughs> yeah, she finds she, she, uh, the store, I think it was the herb one the, in here, like uh, say that, hello, Tiefling. Like, what mm. the fuck? <laughs> What's a Tiefling? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> after, after their request to uh, go check that, uh, you know, people make sure they're okay. I'm going to quickly just go around and just make sure that everybody's okay. Pretty sure their mayor's dead. Oh no, what a shame. Go <laughs> count the heads. Yeah, fairy racism. I don't like fairies, man. I don't trust them. <laughs> they might actually be racist, and I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I don't trust them. They showed up one day, and then we had a fucking fairy mayor. Like, I think shenanigans yeah, happen. This, this fucking pick comes flying towards going, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust that little prick either. <laughs> you can hear me. are stealing our jobs. I'm right in front of you. Sorry, reptile brain. I, I say what I think, and I think what I say. Do you trust me? Big Do the anal man? attack pick? Hmm. Exactly. He's got a secret <laughs> weapon. Okay, but you're uh, you're just gonna go um, across town, see, check up on all the locals. Yeah. Or yeah. That or I'll just be like shouting at the top of my lungs. Is everybody okay? Yeah, that doesn't hey, seem very going... efficient. We should probably do a head count or something. Do you yeah, have a um... town bill? Ah, be a town crier. <laughs> just shout, everybody to the centre. I'll go to the church and ring the bell. Okay, you oh, start going door by bold. door. Yeah. My dory. Funny enough, no dory. church in this town. I guess be not very religious. <laughs> Yeah, that's all we chose for. No, that's the that's the, uh, that's the drunken fairy. <laughs> to the brothel, everybody! <laughs> to the <Yeah>. brothel! <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. We're not very. This town is not religious at all, but it's got brothels and other shit. Yeah, but well, you uh, gather every everybody up. The town had a population of uh, forty five people. Now there's three less. Now it's forty two people. <laughs> oh, could have been worse then. Come back, there's yeah. only like three people. For X amount of um, people, the heads would have been able to eat without anyone noticing. It would have grown extra heads. It was at two heads at this point, so that means three people died. Um, That's fucked. Yeah. More fucked than I'm going to be tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, but I'll just call everybody in. Sam, help me do a count on everybody that's here. All right. Yep. What are you eating? I'm not eating anything. I was just. Is that okay a pumpkin pie you. in your hand? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're just happy to see me. Yeah. Then wiping his lips up. Oh. All right. Let me get everybody here. Right here. Start calling people in. The fucking mushroom. <laughs> Whoa. Garlic people? Why, why are they wearing a traffic cone? <laughs> They're in charge of traffic. Ah. 
Carton carts and all that. Ganondorf. <laughs> Ganondorf. Ganondorf, <laughs> I showed up. It is Ganondorf. <laughs> so yeah, these three that I've put here now is uh, the dead one. This guy is called Melilad. He was the fiancé of uh, Rimendel Hassiane, the uh, General Stone owner who has passed away. This, Not anymore. This looking lad over here is uh, an adoptive son of, um, of them both. And the other one is her actual son, uh, wearing the fishing hat. So uh, people will start gathering the uh, family members now that they realize that they are... Uh, their beloved uh, member of the family has passed away a probably horrible death by these uh, creatures. They are very, uh, very upset. Um, they're trying to come to grips with what just happened, what transpired. Uh, more and more people start to gather in, uh, in the drunken ferry as somewhat the town hall. Uh, you've gathered everyone together here. What are you uh, gonna do? Are you gonna address the uh, the people? <clears throat> yeah, that's, I, I guess it's only right. Okay. <coughs> that was, sorry, I was clearing my throat. <clears> throat. I actually think what to say. Great people. We have befalled with tragedy, as obviously three of our town people have been. <clears throat> well, I think you can surmise what has happened. I know this comes as a shock, and we will need time to mourn. We also need to think about. <laughs> Fuck. Brain uh, work. Work. <clears throat> what we're going to do for leadership as well, due to the fact that the mayor is also <clears throat> gone away on business. <laughs> on business. Yeah, I'm, there's still kids here, Chris. I remember that. That's why I'm trying to be vague about it. They might not be uh, quite clocked on what's happened. I, I may, yes. <laughs> I don't know what else, what else we we're really going to do you just born for a couple of days and then just get on with it don't you damn <laughs> <laughs> is that your speech <laughs> but i'm looking for help as well man <laughs> i'm looking away like scratching my beard that's what you get <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> uh, <clears throat> i know <laughs> Okay, after I noticed that Sam ain't going to help me. <clears throat> <laughs> I know that times are going to be tough. And we need each other more than ever. But I am confident if we all stick together, we'll get through this hard time. And I say all okay. that. Wanna do me a performance? Do I get advantage because uh, sn Snow's helping me? <laughs> <laughs> the Snow's quoting Star Trek 2, the Rafa Khan. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> I'll cast guidance on him uh, as I walk in. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. There's that. Another shitty roll. Fucking load of dog shit. Absolutely. Oh. Gah, gah, gah. Yeah, you do your best to uh, appease to the people, but people cry out, what are we going to do? We're leaderless now. We have nobody to lead the town. The guards didn't even see this creature. What if something like this happens again? We need more security. I think y'all should just riot. No, 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 
So we just tell her, ah, oh, it's all the it's all the fairies fault. <laughs> oh, don't, don't you go showed up. Don't you go racial scapegoating now. Man, you know what? Everything was fine. It was a much simpler time without the fairies in. The moment they joined, everything went to problems. A, re- a request What's must be put into the nearest big city of Waterdeep so we can get a new mayor. <laughs> Will we head into Waterdeep? How, <laughs> How <laughs> coincidental. What a coincidence. Monorail. Monorail. <laughs> <laughs> well, some to be a mayor from from here. Okay, we'll go there in a year. We need time to mourn. <laughs> yeah, well, they're doing we need to uh, inform the officials that the mayor has passed away. They should uh, okay. organize a new vote for the next uh, mayor, a new election. Okay, that that makes more sense than I what well, I thought. Well, why can't we just do the vote among ourselves, the people that live here? Among us. Because we are a, uh, um, what would it be called in these kind of times? A thief? Like a uh, a little oh, bit of land that is under a, uh, yeah, under the umbrella of like a bigger, uh, a bigger organization. Hang on a minute, how the fuck did the fairies get control of it then? I'm pretty By sure they won the election. This is even more and more fucking questions. Because they won the election. Oh, looks. You should have voted. <laughs> yeah. It's a democracy, mate. Right. They won by a single vote. Shit. <laughs> I did it as a joke. <laughs> Nexon's back. We have... A, oh, we have... Uh, we have much... Uh, to think about and recover from, um, you uh, you dealt with the creature. It is it is fully gone. Yes, I think so. I, what I can smell, I can unless it can live from being burnt. Yes, we must be extra vigilant. We'll we'll double the watch. Something like this must not be allowed to happen again. Um, you have our tanks without. Without you, uh, we, uh, who knows how long this uh, creature would have taken advantage of a uh, long lake. We like it might have been dead. <laughs> Don't dwell on that thought. Yes, as, as some of you are from uh, the village, you know that we don't have much to give in, uh, in ways of, uh, of a reward. But uh, for uh, for such a feat as uh, saving the uh, the village, you do require uh, some sort of uh, compensation. Uh, you were about to travel out of town uh, for a couple of days, correct? Yeah. Yeah. In need of any any supplies, anything we could uh, assist with? Money, <laughs> food, and uh, yeah, oh, while the. Uh, oh. Well, the townspeople are like giving you their <laughs> thanks by shaking your hand and stuff. That not giving you money, but they're they're bestowing your thanks. They're like, oh, thank you, thank you. Without you, we would have been we would have been done for. Um, when you started playing your beautiful music, it overshadowed the uh, the song of this horrid creature. It was very magnificent. They like a group like walks up to you, snow and like showers mm-hmm. you in thanks, but also kind of like they're still like grieving, like trying to comprehend what all happened. Um, yeah, uh, is there anyone in specific, you guys that are from the village, want to talk, like anyone you want to talk to that you, uh, that you are familiar with? Like, uh, are you checking up on uh, on Luna as Sam since, um, yeah. you know, she lives with you? Uh, I am as well put my head in and say, hello, how are you? <laughs> I am under the water. Please help me. Yeah, I'm going to uh, calm everyone down. <laughs> Yay. Ooh, a 16. Do you play a song? Do you just like... Uh... E. Because yeah, a performance could be anything. Music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I play a song. Um, okay, cool. You start to play like a very upbeat dance song. No, <laughs> like a very calming, uh, <laughs> soothing, uh, soothing <laughs> song. Like, come on, Joe. Come on. Like, oh, we almost died, but I can't stop dancing. <laughs> One of them, like, does the loop thing and accidentally falls in the hole. Like, ah! <laughs> um, 
yeah, Sam, while uh, Snow plays a nice calming song and people are coming to grips with what happened, you hop over back to your home. Um, Luna's in there just fine. She was also under the influence of the uh, of the song. She did not see or hear any of the fighting going on outside. So to her, it's like nothing really happened. You like you show up and she's like, ah, oh, Sam, you're back. Welcome, uh, welcome back. Um, you're staying here. Uh, no, this person, didn't you see that big monster outside? Big monster? And she reaches out for, like, a weapon? Where? It, it, it's dead now, but it was controlling the whole town. D- didn't you hear a shout? All of us to get together and talk about it? Oh, and you see her, like, grab her hand, like, on her head, like, her forehead, like, oh, now that you mention it, memory of... The last few hours is a bit is a bit hazy. It's all foggy. I can't quite remember what happened. Well, a big-headed whatever it is was mind controlling our village and uh, killing a couple of people. Oh no, it, that's it was, terrible! <laughs> killed the mayor, the shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It sounded like you. Was so terrible! Oh no! Oh no! If only anyway. I hadn't brought those creatures here. I mean, it's like my fate. My, my worst. Oh no! Ever. Oh no! <laughs> uh, nah. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, she it seems uh, shook. Like what? What are you saying? A monster killing people? Nobody has gone missing in the. Oh wait. The mayor's office was empty, but there was no mayor. And you see her, like, trying to, like, understand everything. There was a fairy mayor? <laughs> yes, right. Um, he showed up with a, with a whole family of, uh, of fairies a while ago. And the people voted him into, into, into the mayor position. Yes. He's dead? Yes. <laughs> no? Or missing. I didn't really know him, but um, he seemed to be doing fine as a mayor. There were no complaints in the town. It, it's a shame. Um, I wonder who's going to take up uh, the mayor position now. Well, th- we having to go to uh, Waterdeep to get a vote started, but you could put your head in the hat in there. No, no, not. Not everyone can become a mayor. It tends to go to the uh, elders of a village. Let's see about that. <laughs> I'm going to become Hokage, Chris. Yeah. I've been studying for a couple of years. The village no, hidden in the I'm long lake. The, ho- <laughs> <laughs> the village hidden in the lake. <laughs> I'm going to become mayor. I'm going to get a promotion from the glass blowing. Uh, but yeah, people are coming to terms with uh, everything that's happening. If there's anyone you would like to visit, talk to in the town, just let me know. Other than that, I'm going to uh, ask you guys, are you planning, now that all this has transpired, are you going to take a few days to rest and recover here, like talk to people, figure out what's going on, or are you getting on your carriage and getting out of here? <laughs> I have no reason to stay. I mean, one of us normally, you know, Oh, never mind. I was going to say, there ain't no bodies left to dig the holes for. They've fucking consumed all of them. Yeah, yeah. No, bodies gone. Really there, is, there is just the head which was left on the ground. I don't know if anybody wants that head. If not, uh, one of the guards will, like, put it away. We should probably anybody want take it to water deep. Yeah. Get it, st- get it studied. They're supposed yeah. to be pretty, pretty knowledgeable there. I mean... According to my uh, father. Okay. So, the thing so you chuck it in the wagon? I was going to say, mm. so the thing doesn't decay. Like, if you give me... I don't know, like, a while I can make, like, a glass case for it. Yeah. Oh, no. I can stop it from decaying. Oh, no, no. <laughs> glass case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing it back, baby. No, it's really no, back. I can through. do it myself <laughs> now. I'm the glass man. He is the glass blower now. He is guy. the one who blows. I just need someone to do the fingering. Oh. There we go again, uh, Michael. Sorry, what did you say, Snow? Oh, there we go. 
Oh, uh, no, just re- making a reference to uh, what he was talking about, fingering. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> They're doing another alien film, by the way. Oh, nice. Oh, God. Yeah. They always are. Okay. So now you'll uh, stop it from rotting. Cool. Uh, I'll say, if we've got all our supplies and that that we're going to need, how, how long's the journey to actually get there? I've never been... I'm asking the people that are sending us there. I'm assuming they would. But it's not anyone here. Well, I guess we're being sent over the vote, but they're not the, they're not the ones that are sending us there initially. Uh, yeah. I've Stop said it me. in the past how. Uh, I'll just have to look again. I don't quite remember. Is there something? Definitely. Um, yeah. A couple of weeks? Yeah, it's definitely longer than a day. A week. Okay. Maybe. Obviously, if that's so, we're gonna to need to get supplies for the wagon. Uh, a week, yeah. Week? Well, if a week is seven days in this, I'm assuming it is. I think the only difference is they have two moons. Yeah, they have two or three moons. I can't remember. But uh, how how injured are the party members looking? Because obviously, I went here. I don't know how much damage they took. Uh, above half health still. Yeah, about that. I'll say, is Rest it worth... Road. I'll say... Okay. So if you guys don't want to rest in the bed, you can do it on a cart. Uh, do we have a horse in that to uh, move some yeah. cart? Yeah, we've got two horses. Alright, I'll say, um, if that's the case then, just go, get our... Get our resources, get a map to actually take us where we're going, and then just go. Uh, yeah, there is a uh, uh, cartographer in town. It's one of the uh, shops that was in town, uh, owned by Celeras Usatek, who is still alive. He survived the uh, the stuff, so he'll be in the uh, grouping. He is more than uh, willing to offer you a map of... Uh, of Faerun, pretty much, of the uh, the Sword Coast, the uh, the surrounding areas of where you're at. Yeah, but we could also just walk into the general store. Yeah, if they have Gen- one. General store has no owner at the she moment. She died. She died. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> anyway, I walk into the general <laughs> store, Chris, to buy some things. <laughs> <laughs> they did say that we could take anything to help us on our journey. Oh, oh oops, did I accidentally change the map? I didn't mean to you do did, that. the general store. Oh, she's dead. Look, there's her corpse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. I was just going to look at her inventory and all at the actual building. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yeah. Where I'd be anyway. I don't know if anyone. Uh, you guys can go to the car talk, car talk over. So I'm just going to slip away. <laughs> go to the general store. If you double click on her, you should be able to open her like shop sheet, I guess. Ooh. Like that's all that's all the stuff in the general store, if that uh, if that works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me just get the carriage, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Park it in front of the general store. So some people exactly like walking by like do, yes. hmm. yeah. reverse it up, beep, beep. I'm getting my lanterns, yay! <laughs> I'll, I'll reveal her token on this map as well, so you can click on it. Oh, wait, hang on. If I buy this, though, Gris, it'll take my money. Hmm. I guess I can just yeah. figure out how much I spend and take it back. Hang on. That's the, that's the way to do it. You're just going to rob the store. No! No. <laughs> you guys don't know what I'm doing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you. So. No, yeah. I come. Oh. Oh. GM must be on the same scene to purchase an item. Oh, I can't because you're not even chased the map. I'm just yeah. going to take it. Take it. Take what Chaz are you, uh, from the Are thing. you back on uh, Long Lake? Yeah. I'm just going to take it if from you the click, uh, actual sheet. Yeah. If you click on this token now, it should work, uh-huh. I guess, since it's on the same scene as you. Okay. okay. Oh, no, she's dead. She's she fucking dead. dead. Are you, Chris, is that money available? <laughs> or is that what's that really eaten? But in the shop, it was that one. Did you just say brutally? Uh, it's a shop's money. 
Like um, a ye old register, I guess, wherever they keep their body. Like a coin box, I suppose. Yeah. So. Sweet. <laughs> cha -ching. There's nobody really uh, protecting the store there. Guard died. <laughs> well, a guard. There was more than one. <laughs> Nope. But, but yes, no leaves the uh, the tavern, the brothel, whatever you want to call it, the uh, the drunken fairy, and goes towards the uh, empty general store. Is she going by herself? Is anyone going with Snow? I said nothing. I just got in the cart and started going. <laughs> she got a cart, and I'm casting the thing as a ritual, so uh, I am. Yay. You're on the cart. my thieving. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, and Sam, you're you're at your home still with uh, with Luna. What are you doing now? Oh, you then, Sam. Oh, he's muted. Yeah. <laughs> Probably eat. Uh, yeah, you get your stuff. You get on the cart. Uh, you have a seven day ish journey towards uh, Waterdeep, depending on uh, the speed of the horses and the carriage, and if the roads are completely clear and the weather and all that kind of stuff. But give or take, seven days. Um, you guys have rations, uh, things to sleep with, all that kind of stuff. The yep. snow just come out of the store with all the stuff. <laughs> and I back the card up to the thing and I've just been throwing things into it. Yeah. I'll probably confront snow about that. Hmm? What are you doing? Getting supplies? Uh, so I put uh, in a two-person tent. <laughs> Snow, why are you yeah. stealing all this? Person's dead. And they said she that they still were still has a family. Still, that's fucked up. Mm. <laughs> I'm just on the wagon, chilling like two sons and a husband. Snow. I'm back. But do they need this longbow? Yes, yes. As I put it in the cart. <laughs> <laughs> it's their store now. They still have the store. They yeah, said pretty they, much, but you missed that. They literally they said, said, they literally said to us, both of them, that we could take whatever yeah. we wanted. And, not, and they put don't have much money. Back. Put all Honestly, this back. I, I continue to put the stuff in the cart. <laughs> no, we're putting all this back. I'm nope. just waiting for a guard to come and be like, Oh, yes, the same <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Oh, hello there, guard. So, so what's happening? <laughs> Snow stealing? I'm loading yes. a store. <laughs> Snow went to the now empty general store and started taking the stuff there. Well, not empty of stuff, but empty of owner, because the owner died. And then she realized she couldn't carry it all, so she went to go and get the carriage, drove it up to the store, and started transferring stuff over. And Nolan and Bless are on the carriage. And what are you doing, Ble uh, Sam? Yeah. I've gone to sleep. I am close to killing Snow. <laughs> oh. I'm going to give her the dirtiest look. <laughs> you better put that back. <laughs> I just look at him and say, You do not own me, Sam. You do not own that shit. And you do? No. The owner does. Yeah, that's why we're putting it back. Well, that's why they're dead. But no one owns it. Yeah, I thought Snow was innocent all that, but oh wow. <laughs> and just that, that is <laughs> fucked up. No, we're putting it back. Nope. Sam, help me out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to grab everything and put it back. Mm. I cut the horses from the, from the carriage and I ride off. <laughs> <laughs> On both of them? On both? Yeah, I take them. I tie it to one, one to the other and head off. What the fuck just happened? Okay, you see Snow uh, so approach the front the of the carriage and like uh, mess with the horse's reins, starting to like tie them up and undo them. Uh, hey. <laughs> what are you doing, Snow? I'm, I'm leaving. I'm heading home. Oh. So I'm just, I'm just threatening my life and uh, I don't, I don't really appreciate it, so I'm leaving. I don't oh. appreciate you stealing it from my friends. 
Did we all pay for the horses, or did you pay for the horses? I paid for the horses. I have the ticket. Oh. You can keep the cart. All right. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> that just happened. Huh. I don't know what to do at the moment. I don't know if there's still something to do with the heart, uh, the weird creature. Or... Can you just help us put this stuff back? Sure. Hey, okay, I'll, I'll start. It's very confused because, yeah, again, I've been just chilling in the car. I was like yeah. really asleep and then sat nowhere. Snow's leave left with the horses now while I'm being asked to put the stuff back after I hear that Snow tried stealing. Okay, I will help. Still so very that's... confused what the fuck just happened. Did stuff get put on the carriage sheet that needs to be taken off of it again now? Yeah, pretty it's much everything that was in the store. Uh, oh god. I'm looking oh, at the yeah. carriage seat now, there's a lot of two-person tents and stuff in there. Oh shit, that is a lot of shit. <laughs> god damn. There are two draft horses in here. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> Hold on, what the proof of ownership for the car? I mean, obviously, glass blowing tools. Uh, so, did any of you had a tent? No. No. Okay. I think the only thing we had uh, in there was just, just a bedroll your, for uh, snow and a bedroll for mine, and that's it. Okay. I think the rest uh, is just for the store. Okay. You are unloading the cart, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, again, I don't know what happened, but I'm I'm helping. Uh, well, I'll explain to him that Snow tried to steal everything off of the general store because the owner died. Oh, okay. Uh, glass blower tools? I'm assuming they're mine. <laughs> Do you have them on your sheet still? Oh. <laughs> yeah, then I guess these are for Blas. Yeah. Oh yeah, Gress, can I can I get rid of this hide armor and just get the money for it? Uh yeah, I've been wanting to get rid of it since fucking day one, but yeah, I'd you would have sold it in the other town then, I guess, but you were not here. Yeah, so uh, I'm getting rid of my hide armor. That's ten gold. Would I've got ten gold for it, or would it have been a little bit less? A little bit less, especially uh, here. Uh, Eight gold. Uh, yeah, that seems fair. Sure, you want this off your sheet? Yes. Yeah, you're like. Um... You start like putting all the stuff back into the store from the carriage. Uh, snow is gone with both of the uh, horses, so you have a horseless carriage now just sitting in front of the uh, general store. Uh, eventually, you get the attention of some of the nearby townspeople. Um, one of the uh, town's guards comes uh, walking over. What's, uh, what's happening here? What's in the stuff back? Yeah. That thief oh. tried to steal the general store because the owner died. When we told her no, she got pissed off and took off with the horses. Oh. He looks at the, the store, like at the carriage. So, the woman that was with you, the uh, the one that played, uh, played the music earlier, she tried to take things from the general store? And you're, you're taking it back? We're putting it back. Yeah. Right, so am I alright to just sell stuff that I don't need and just, like, lower the price that I would have got for, like, and I take, like, two gold off it or whatever? Uh, yeah. Everybody did a big, like, shopping, empty their inventory thing, but you were, uh, you were not here, yeah, so I've you can... i got a morning uh, star here. Um, can absolutely do gold, that, I'm going to make it 13. Oh, well, uh, the card will continue. Well, I was, uh, I was on patrol since, uh, the owner of this shop has been, uh, you know, 
taken by that monster, uh, probably killed by that monster. Um, we were uh, we were coming over to lock up the general store until uh, until the family knows what to do with it. Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, we just finished put everything back. Yeah, I like walk into the general store, look at you guys, look at the stuff. You sure you put everything back? You didn't keep anything to yourself? Uh, I think so. Things left in here is a blazer's tools and a bedroll and the head of the monster. I see. Uh, and he points towards the carriage, no longer being pulled by uh, horses. How are you going to move your uh, your wagon now? Sab? Uh, I'm not pulling it. <laughs> I might be able to pull it to the next city to get some flipping the horses. Uh, just generally move that out of the way. <laughs> not like the other city. Okay. Well, uh... Uh... You know, like like the townspeople offered in the uh, in the drunken ferry. If there's anything uh, you need on your trip to uh, Waterdeep, uh, I'm sure the uh, the people would be would be more than willing than to offer you what they what they can. But uh, of course, you gotta you gotta ask first. You can't just uh, take things from the town. Is it possible to get us uh, some horses? Uh. We don't really have uh, horses in town. What's the closest thing of four legs that you got in this town that is of a large size? Uh, n- not much, to be honest. As, as you know, since you are from the town, we mainly uh, uh, are a fishing village that fishes from the lake and uh, moves, oh. our, uh, moves our goods to the nearby uh, towns by trading caravans that come through the town. But uh, we do not really have a stables or... Uh, uh, could, could, could we get to our destination by boat, Gress? Uh, no, on the Long Lake? No. It is a uh, a lake on its own. It's not connected yeah, okay, to... Okay, yeah. uh, okay that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to work on the lake for a bit and link it up to <laughs> where we need to go. <laughs> Bigger canal. Yeah. Uh, we might have to go back to the city and... <laughs> Okay, another horse. Oh, yeah. Mm, unless you want to walk to Wardy, but I mean, I don't what happens? We have. There's no left. Another option we have, we could try and like try and uh, I say hunt, but obviously not kill. Try and hunt down some uh, wild horses or deer or whatever. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's an option because yeah, again, how long just... would it take to walk to the town and then walk all the way back? Uh, a um, while, actually. Which town? And he got the one the, the horses. Get a horse. Like a day. <laughs> okay, with, great. Uh, uh, with horse and carriage, so a bit more probably on foot. Yeah. I'm going to just ask this, Chris. Do, for me living here, do I know of any like, wildlife that lives native to this area that would be strong enough to take these carts if able to get them? The waste time doing that because they won't be able to pull it. Like, we, they need draining to pull. No, don't. <laughs> all they need is enough uh, go uh, no uh, enough uh, some course, sort of think. animal handling yeah but literally you could stick a rope around it smack it on the ass and then it's going to run wouldn't be able to control it very well but it would get us to where we need to go you don't need training at all to pull fucking something <laughs> you just need to be willing to do it if if a house is on fire and you've got something tied to you you're gonna fucking run away from the fire aren't you Aiden at that point, it's just survival. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Is there any game around here that we could use that may not take a day to actually fucking get? Instead of getting a day to get to one town, to then purchase horses, rest, 
and then take another day to get back. You've already lost two days. Rest again. That's already three days, and then a week travel. Uh, yeah. Um, you know uh, the area around town. Um, you are from here. The wildlife is very typical. Uh, like middle yeah, European wildlife, like deer, elk, uh, that kind of stuff, like foxes, all kinds of woodland uh, creatures that you would see in like a temperate uh, biome, I suppose, mixed in with your D&D fantastical creatures and monsters, of course. See, what we're uh, going to do you... is we're going to find some owl bears. Yeah, you do know that um, <laughs> the town that you travel to, uh, Tribor, was known for uh, its many... Uh, ranches and the like, uh, where they uh, they breed and train horses for all the carriage uh, pulling, which uh, means that it is safe to say that in the nearby area there are wild roaming horses where they get their uh, their horses from. Okay, <clears throat> this is what I'm thinking. But as you, you can know? see on this uh, map, uh, like this. You should see around the token, you see that uh, the little lake that just sticks out above uh, the token is kind of like smooshed between the two mountains. That's where a uh, long lake is at. So you're kind of in like a, uh, almost like a canyon, but like a big canyon. Like you cannot see both one side from the other. Okay. Hear me out. This is the fort. Like I said, it's obviously going to take us time to do this. What we could do is obviously go that way, as I point to the town where all the horses and all that are. Try and find horses, because obviously if we find them, just, you know, we do our best with them and just get them to go one direction. And guess where we need to go. And obviously if we don't, we're already going that way anyway. So we won't really be missing out, if that makes sense. Yeah. Is everybody following what I'm saying? Yeah. I think we're, like, the town is right here that we bought yeah. the horses from, right? Go that um, way. Try and see if we can find horses. Catch them. If not, we're and I'm pretty sure White Deep is like down here. Yeah, yeah, I know. But yeah, again, this is like this is Plan A with Plan B mixed in. If Plan A doesn't work, it's straight onto Plan B. Does everyone have enough money to buy a horse? I do. How much was a horse? I think uh, together it was with a discount, uh, fifty gold. Yeah, the two horses, fifty gold. Okay, that's shit. I've, I edited, I edited my sheet, and my money's gone back to what it originally was. Yeah, it's gonna keep doing that. Yeah, and does that for some reason? Sure, why? Thirteen, eight, and then one. You gotta like hit enter in the. Uh... Yeah, that's what I did. Be on 32. Mm, you think okay. we should speak with the old man? Maybe he can help us. Oh, the yeah, we, we might be able to do We might be able to get some magical horses coming. Oh, the pumpkin farmer. <laughs> I was like, yeah. the old man. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's I'm going to calling him. Obviously, I'm just going to keep an eye out for uh, anything that I think is big enough that could, like, take the cart. Okay. Out for it. Madrik Rosloff, the pumpkin farmer on the edge of town. Um, okay, so you guys uh, make your way over to the uh, pumpkin farm to talk to him. He was a, he was an adventurer back in his day, gave you uh, a bunch of letters of recommendation and stuff like that for various organizations. I don't know who all has those. I don't know if there it was is. snow. <laughs> Yeah, so that's, I that's, that's what I was thinking. So as you guys uh, travel yes. towards uh, the pumpkin farm, what is Snow doing? Uh, well, that's what I was about to say. Like, she's crying behind some trees near the pumpkin farm. Oh. <laughs> you see, how I'm playing it, I've to play, as I've said, like she's super naive and shit. Like, <laughs> I'm playing it that she's very confused, that she's like, okay, but every time we kill a thing, we take their stuff. So why is mm. it when this person dies... We can't take their stuff. Why are they mad at me? <laughs> so she's like crying behind some trees near the pumpkin farm. Going, Why were they mad? Why were they? <laughs> I wasn't. I don't think I was. Hit. Was I not here for this? Do you guys? Yeah, no, you were not. You were not here. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yell I at her. Yeah. So 
I was in the cart <laughs> sleeping, and then when yeah, I woke so, up, it, no, you didn't see how there's like two parts. Yeah, I woke up. What I the said, fuck just happened? Yeah, yeah. I, I woke up. Went, so confused. Yeah. Like I was just sitting here. I was like, they're going into this whole explanation of where we're going to get the horses. I'm like, I don't intend to leave the party. I'm still here. Yeah, yeah. No, Nolan was like, uh, and went, Nolan, oh, where oh, are you sorry. going? And then she went. Yeah, she yeah, was upset. And, you could see that she was crying. Like Nolan was like, "Don't do this. We're not taking this stuff." And Sam was like. I'm gonna stop you from taking this stuff, and then uh, and Snow rode off. <laughs> yeah, she got felt, felt very threatened. She's like, "Fine, okay, I'm taking my stuff, and I'm leaving." <laughs> and Blast was sleeping, and you were you were muted uh, while all that was happening, big. So I did not get what you mm-hmm. would do during that situation, but that is what you missed. And now uh, I would have gone after Snow to try and make sure she didn't uh, probably find me right behind the tree before anyone else. Then near the pumpkin farm. Yeah, you flutter off. Do me a perception. This will be an easy DC, because I don't think Snow is particularly well hidden. No, I've got two horses and I'm crying <laughs> pretty ugly. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, 17. Exactly you, uh, you follow yeah, Snow from a distance. You see her, like, parking, parking, <laughs> tying up both of the uh, <laughs> horses near the, uh, near the pumpkin farm, and, like, hiding behind the tree, and kind of, like, hunch, hunch down in herself, mm-hmm. like a... Uh, uh, Anime style. Yes, anime style. Uh, you're you're the first one there, uh, Pick, since you uh, followed her. So you uh, you see this happen. What does Pick do? Give her a minute to herself, then maybe talk to her after she's had a minute Watch to herself. Her cry. Okay, <laughs> you wait a bit. You notice uh, as you are waiting that the others are approaching the uh, pumpkin farm. You see them like walking over from uh, from the direction of the town. What's wrong, little tiefling? Gonna cry. <laughs> Hmm. I'll approach her slowly. Hey, Snow. Um. Uh. <clears throat> uh. Hey, hey, Pick. Sorry, I think I missed exactly what happened, but I can tell you in a bit of a state. If you want me to leave, I'll leave you be. No, it's okay. I don't get why they were so mad. Someone died. We take their stuff. Isn't that how it works? Sometimes, although some cultures do have an idea of people keeping stuff so they go onto the afterlife of it. I'm not sure what, exactly if that applied to this situation or if it was uh, something else. Sam got all mad and threatened me. That's kind of silly. That's what I thought. Well, it was. You ain't done nothing wrong. It was probably just a miscommunication somewhere down the line. It Maybe. happens from time to time. He said we needed stuff for the road, so I went to get it from that dead person's store. Mm. Sometimes you gotta work with what life gives you, Snow. I know it might seem odd, but it's how I've been living my whole life. Mm. So you don't think I did anything wrong? Well, not particularly, but... Couldn't have hurt to at least leave a coin or something for her stuff. Perhaps as a sign of respect. I'm not sure if you know what I mean. Sort of. I've never really had anyone die around me. Like, the first thing I ever saw die was with you guys. Hmm. never killed anything before I joined you guys. I'll tell you this, Snow. One thing I've learned traveling through this world is that a lot of people have a lot of different beliefs and views on how things should go. They can get really twisted and confusing at times. Yeah, I just don't get it. I wish I knew more about the outside world, but I just don't. I, given what I've learned from your parents and you, it's understandable why you didn't, but that's what this is about. Learning. Good. Experiencing new things, both good and bad. I don't know what to the do fairy, about the party. Would pick the fairy rogue. The thief that likes to pick up shinies really give advice to leave somebody behind when you take stuff. I mean, he can be hypocritical. <laughs> oh, I absolutely am. Yeah, I'd say he's doing it to make his friend feel better. Like, you can lie about that shit. He doesn't have to be honest. At first, I was like, ah, oh, yes, take advice from the rogue about thieving. This is gonna go well. And I was well surprised yes. that Pick was like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, but and I was mainly Pick because Pick, realistic. with his time with Snow, has seen that she's innocent. And even with his even with his nature of usually taking shine easy, he doesn't feel right taking advantage of someone who doesn't know as much as Snow. Okay, very oh, wow, cool. He's How about that? 
It's like, more, it's like more of a Snow's innocent, so she doesn't, and she's clearly never really done anything intentionally wrong. So Pick would feel guilty, even if only to a small degree, if he did anything bad to her. Hmm, okay. And yeah, uh, the rest of you, you walk up, you very obviously see the two horses parked, uh, uh, tied up on a tree near the pumpkin farm. Oh, look, the coincidence. There's two wild horses there that we could get a hold of. <laughs> <laughs> they look exactly like our horses, these wild horses. They have reins on them. <laughs> they, they smell like our horses as well. Wait a minute. I smell a scent. One that I haven't smelt in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sadness. What? I what am scent is most that? impressed to see you have survived your injuries. <laughs> like, it's, it's a hit between roses and strawberries, with a hint of hydra still uh, lingering. Strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> Stri- Strivers, I call it. <laughs> oh look, there's, there's snow. You know those, like, uh, strawberry animal costumes they have for, like, a little dog or something? When you yeah. said that that'll be pink, I immediately, like, an image flashed in my <laughs> mind of, like, a fairy in one of those strawberry costumes. I was like, why? This is demeaning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, that's snow. I see Sam coming, I'm going to hide. Right, I'm okay. going to stay, stay back on the one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Listen, listen. <coughs> we need to we need to do this delicate fuck's sake. <laughs> we need to do this delicately. <laughs> okay. Everybody got heated. I was asleep, so I have no idea what actually happened. This this is probably all down to just miscommunication. She so tried standing off the stool. Yeah, 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 I'm not in, sure how miscommunication in, that can get. Yeah, in her defense, <laughs> yeah again, with her being with us, we know that she was you were sheltered pretty much, weren't you, Ricardo? Yeah, I know yeah. nothing. She, except the the fair and my home. That's yeah, yeah, before teaching. Like, <clears throat> she was sheltered for most of her life, and most of her interactions with us, we've been killing things and taking their stuff. So I, I can see why she would have got, like, how the miscommunication would have happened. Like, maybe if we would have had time to, I don't know, the people that were awake explain to her why stealing's bad from people we care about. And not uh, monsters that are trying to kill us. Well, I kind of got better? annoyed when I walked up and I saw it uh, stealing off a, off a store of a friend. I, I, I understand knew. that. I understand that. I, I also knew her as well. But <clears throat> yet again, this could have all been avoided. But you know, people people are sad. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to make mistakes. It's only not okay to make mistakes when you don't learn from them. This is a moment to learn from it. So now we're going to go over there and we're going to explain the situation. Well, I'll stay we'll over here. Come over as well, but obviously keep your head low. Be very submissive. Nah, <laughs> nah I'm, I'm all right over here. I wasn't going to say breathable, but yeah, I was going to say like, <laughs> lift up your shirt, show off your underbelly, so she knows that you're uh, that you're submissive. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, you you stay here. We stay with the cart. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, but stay with the cart anyway that you've been carrying. I don't think we have the cart with us. Do you know? I most probably could put, pull the cart up here. Yeah, that's, that's the funny thing. I just <laughs> imagine like he's just dragging the. We cart should have just used Sam for the trip. He'd be very tired. I don't think. I like working out. All of us on it. I like he has a <laughs> bit of I don't know man, he struggled with that giant pumpkin man. I think we weigh more than that. Yeah, but, but he's anyway. got his magical belt. Anyway, anyway, yeah. anyway you, you come with me. <laughs> We're gonna go speak to Snow and sort this whole fucking thing out. Oh look, there's oh there's Pick. He, fuck, was he not oh, with us the whole time? Man, he's good. He's small. <laughs> he's a stealthy little bastard. And he doesn't talk much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know he what? He's small. <laughs> yeah. Of all the fairies, I'd say he's one of the better ones. <laughs> Save your racism for later. <laughs> that was such a veiled compliment. <laughs> and a racist one. Yeah. <laughs> Out of all of them. <laughs> Listen, not all of them are dirty, 
just thieves that steal off of no 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 <clears throat> just <laughs> everything i say is just true about pick but i'm i'm too stupid to realize it because i'm blinded <laughs> just like ah oh, not all of them are dirty thieves that lie through their teeth but anyway yeah <clears throat> let's go over there we, we need to make this right God, I'd take a nap for five fucking minutes, and this is what happens. <clears throat> okay, so you all approach. Well, Sam's so staying. No, I'm, yeah, I'm staying, staying behind. Pushing the cards. Hey, Snow. You okay? No. I, I, I realise uh, some miscommunication happened while I was uh, sleeping. I do apologise. Nolan yelled at me. Sam threatened me. Nolan. She was stealing. Yet again. We steal all the time. Y- yes, about that. Um, you guys really need to lay out better specifics for yeah. her. Like, like we go, we kill things, and we take their stuff. So I'm, if she I'm died, gonna... we take the stuff. I'm gonna, because I'm gonna... they were evil. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We're not going <laughs> to talk about morality and all that. I'm, I'm... Is it okay if I pat your head? Are you all right with that? Or... Okay. A little pat on the head. Listen. I realised the uh, they didn't really explain the whole thing, and I don't think they took your background into consideration of what you may or may not know. Mm. Obviously, if you kill a creature that's trying to kill you, you're doing it for survival, you know, and mm. then you take what you can to help you live longer. But yeah. in towns like we was in, it's frowned upon to take from, I don't want to say more intelligent people, you know, intelligent races and all that, but you know, mm. it's the term like from people. Yes, you shouldn't take stuff from humanoids that own businesses and that, and what people and people actually give a shit about that. But no one cared when I took that rapier from that frozen elf. Uh, that that you didn't, ca- you didn't say anything when you took Snickersnack. Hey, she gave it to me, but you took it before she gave it to you. So that we can kill the guy to free her. But she yes, has reasons bad. for taking our it, stuff. It, it's very complicated. It's a very hard mix match. If, you, if this ever happens in the future, you could always like come to obviously me or pick, mm. and you know we'll explain. But okay, when it, when it comes to these situations, it, it's kind of I don't fully get it, but I'll ask you from in the future. I was just trying to help. I know, I know. As I'm still just. We're head. going on a long journey, and that's a general store full of general things we needed. I know. You were trying to be mm. very helpful. Mm. That threatens honest. me again, though. I think, I think I'll go home. Okay. Well, I've already had a fern. A fern? A fern? No, that's, that's <laughs> I've already had a plan, I've a plan today. <laughs> I've already had a um, talk with him and mm. explained that your intentions were good. Just okay. Obviously... I'm sorry for running off. I just didn't know what to do. No, no, no. You, you didn't want to escalate the situation, so you left. You did. Mm. You technically did the right thing. Okay. It. This is where it gets complicated with the whole... I've seen Sam do horrible, up. horrible, painful things to a woman before, so I got scared. He, well, what did he do? Yeah, that he is broke fair. a woman's body and crushed her into bits and then threw her in a fire. He didn't do that in front of us. I think he just told us he did. No, that. I saw it. I was standing down the corridor. Gris, I, I asked Chris if I saw it, and he's like, "Yeah." <laughs> I was like, "No, oh, what did you do?" Yeah, yeah from from like two rooms away through the hallway. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Oh, what is he doing?" <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I'm like gonna... the moral complexity of what's okay to loot and not to loot—not something I thought was gonna come up. But here we are. But I do here like that. Are. That that blast solution is pretty much like I'm gonna gatekeep what's okay to loot or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. I'm gonna. Can I say I'm, not a, I'm not a smart man. So, and this is actually come from me. Also, I'm not a smart man. Jenny. Uh So I'm Jenny. just trying to do my best to explain to her, like you know, uh, very situational. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Yeah. Like, it depends <laughs> what seemed necessary at the time, and it seemed necessary. So, uh, yeah, I'm just. I had a fun talk with him, but uh, Thanks, I probably said it wrong again. Thanks, Nick. Be more understanding. No problem. Now. <clears throat> Look, uh, Snow, just basically ask yourself 
uh, if the person is innocent, if they have a family, or if it can help them if you take their stuff. Nolan. Yeah, but just because you didn't meet them doesn't mean you can take their stuff. Uh, think, but, okay, think but, about but this. What way. about the people we've killed? And what if they had families? They were good. evil. How did you know? Just because someone's trying to kill you doesn't make them evil. Kind of does. Also, uh, they abuse uh, no, children. No, 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 like no, no, the last no, no, time, they literally no. abused children. I, I mean, I, <laughs> the most cleric <laughs> answer ever. If it's trying to kill me, it's evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, that was just like that. Doesn't that doesn't know what to say? Like, just like, yeah, that's. Uh... <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that one, Nolan. That seems a bit hypocritical. So, Why? So if you tried attacking me and tried to kill me, would that make you evil? Uh, if I attack you and then you try attacking me, from my point of view, you, you're evil. From your point of view, I'm yes, evil. Anakin. No, but I'd be <laughs> defending myself. You'd still be the oh, aggressor. Yeah, but it's you would be the evil one. I don't know, this but seems it's perspective. <laughs> I don't know, this seems very uh, hypocritical and very contradictory, as, but we're going to move as a on. Cleric, uh, hypocritical how? As a cleric slash priest, is this the kind of messages you preach to your followers? Kill at uh, the messages I preach are mostly evil? about death and not self-defense. <laughs> I don't think you're a priest at that point. I think you're something yeah. else entirely. I like the That's idea of you having like... Drink a the Kool-Aid, my people! We will go to the <laughs> promised land! Nolan is like secretly a cult leader and they're just the worst. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, also, like, I'm pretty sure there's a difference between a priest and a cleric, isn't there? Or are they the same thing? Yeah, yeah, there there is a difference, but they, they're very much alike. Yeah. Uh, they can uh, be the same much, thing, though. A priest can yeah. be the cleric class in this. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, pretty much it's just a title. Like, you could technically be a paladin priest or a cleric priest. Yeah, just cleric comes the from... Yeah. Cleric comes from difference. clergy, and clergy is like priests and stuff like that. Yeah. So you know, the, o- the only difference is really uh, paladins, fighter class, clerics, magic class. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were going to say fuck kids. <laughs> you did like a pause. I was like, is he thinking? No, 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 no. In all fairness, <laughs> they both fuck kids. All right. Now <laughs> paladins don't. They be quality up don't in here now. Off. Come on now. So yeah, but, uh, you've, re- you've regrouped, you've got the horses back, you've got the carriage back. Are we are we traveling? <coughs> Guess we're going to water deep. Yeah. yeah. And we'll you continue have, talking uh... about the complex morality of law. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, even I'm, even I'd, I'd I'm like to point out that, that might be your cleric answer, but again, you picked lawful for some reason. <laughs> You're not a very lawful uh... person, Nolan. <laughs> Yeah, what is it? Say, uh, you're, you're like, uh, you know, you got chaotic neutral, and then yours is like lawful something, from what I remember. Yeah, I'm chaotic neutral, so I'm just. <laughs> you're whatever, that's the easiest class. Just, I, I do whatever I want. Yeah. yeah. Nolan yeah. trying hey, to you stop you from. You said someone attacking uh, me, not someone self defending yeah. from me. Yeah, but you said Nolan... anyone that like, is trying yeah, to kill you. you yeah. Yeah. That's why I, I don't know if that's cool. true in the, in the eyes of the law. <laughs> No, oh, so uh, if, I, if I want to kill my neighbor, I'm not evil. <laughs> well, is your is your neighbor a fucking monster? I, we didn't go to specification. I just said if uh, so I'm gonna kill Come my neighbor, I am I evil? <laughs> I, I did. I went into great detail. I said if you attack me and I defend myself, does that make you evil? And you went. Yeah, but the question was, I some... you the Jedi are evil. That's not the adventure. <laughs> yeah, we're go- we're going. We're going on this seven day journey. We can do both in. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're having this conversation in yeah, the car about morality. morality. <laughs> well, in, in, <laughs> less than a, in less than a day, if you travel south from Long Lake, you mm. come, uh, you come, oh, no, you, come. Uh, <laughs> you come, you come, you hit a little, a little town just on the road, just down the, uh, the, the long road that leads to Waterdeep. Uh, a sign outside reads uh, West Bridge. It seems to be a small, uh, a, re- a relatively small farming village, just uh, less than a day away from Long Lake. Uh, yeah. Do you just ride through? Do you stop in the village? Maybe we should stop and see if we can get some food. Yeah, you have uh, plenty of supplies, but uh, we could. Games we already bought some rations. I know. You want to get out and stretch your legs for a while? 
Has been a day. They like <clears throat> yeah. But they yeah. they could be like venison around here, like you know they're fine at me. Mm. Well, I'm I'm just wondering about going to a, to the closest inn or something like that and asking for some food, not like hunting food for ourselves. I mean, yeah, you could be boring. Them. Well, maybe they've hunted <laughs> the venison. Let's go see what their local foodery is like. Fine. Uh, uh, yeah, you drive to, you see a sign advertising a uh, an inn uh, called the Happy Halfling. Sure, it's not a brothel. <laughs> no, it's 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 an inn. <laughs> let's let's go in the inn. Um, Gris, can I yeah. attune to, to something on that day wide? Uh, it's been less than a day, so like ah, uh, yeah. a few uh, a few hours. So it is. Coming up to uh, um, to evening time. Whoops. How long does That's it a... take to attune something? Uh, it is a long rest, I believe. And a long rest is eight hours, which means six hours you're sleeping and then the other two two hours you're like attuning and stuff like that. Yeah, never mind then. Or six hours sleeping and four hours attuning. I don't know. It's, it's something like that. Maybe we should... Uh... Get a room for the night. Mm. Uh, everybody's okay with it. I thought we were just traveling on the road. Yeah, I just, I'm thinking the driver might get tired. Who is driving? Always taking shifts. I don't know. I think it's Blaz driving, and I'm just sitting at the side of him because I don't yeah. like sitting in the bottom. Bottom. In the bottom, bottom car. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving. Okay. Just chewing on a bit of straw. Nice. <sighs> so yeah, you've I mean, been, no, no been travelling for like four hours or something as you hit this town. You see a sign advertising the Happy Halfling, an inn. Uh, as you drive through town, you notice there seems to be a, uh, a shop with a sign that says the Hammer and Nail, a... Uh, a nice place with like an outside uh, balcony area with tables and seating where people are uh, eating that uh, has a sign that says um, the Wemmick comes to Westbridge. It seems to be a restaurant of some kind and a, uh, a small brewery seems to be in the town. And other than that, it's just farms and residences. Mm. It's like some places to eat. Right, anybody need to use the bathroom? Anybody want to get something to eat? Stretch their legs? Yeah, food. I could use a bite to eat. All right, let's let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go get something to eat. Something to drink. Sounds good. Have a nice time. Yeah. You know, see what entertainment's here. You park up. It's coming. Up, it's coming up to the evening. The farmers are like leaving their uh, leaving their farmlands, retiring back to the inns and taverns as well. Uh, very typical farming uh, village. You see, uh, they wearing suspenders, big like straw hat. Farmer walks past you, like gives you a very polite like tip of the head. Good evening, travelers. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> oh, for fuck. Sorry, I need a parallel park. One second. Fuck. Say why is one of these horse bent? Would you like me to lift it up for you? To turn, turn the back in? Sorry, why are you trying to lift off of me? No, turn the back of the carriage in. Listen, I need to learn, alright? Oh, <laughs> come on, come on, come, no, no! Fuck! For fuck's sake! Yeah, lift the fucking back of the fucking thing. I'm gonna get yeah, off and it... go to the back. As you're trying to park the carriage, you see that, like, a group of farmers has, like, gathered, is, like, leaning on one of the farm fences, just, like, looking uh, at uh, uh, at you fumbling. You're doing a good job there. <laughs> like, they're oh, clearly, like, nervous. someone making fun of you. Yeah. Don't Would look be... at me, it's my first time. Would it be athletics to try and pick up the back and move it to a parking spot? Uh, oh. Just pure strength. for. Uh, oh, shit, do I, need to, do I need to slap hands so I don't run him over? <laughs> At 22, you uh, you managed to lift the cart up a little bit. Hang on a fucking minute. What? Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say, how the fuck did you get a 22? I have a belt of giant strength. Yeah. We did a lot of trading. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, I have 27 strength now, can't I? That's fucked, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Spent like okay, what was it? Fourteen thousand gold. Yeah, <laughs> through a little bit of sneaky uh, spells and trading and persuasion. Oh, and a yeah. ticket that was gave us fifty percent discount. Not on everything though. Not Some everything. things were only like a bit off, depending on how rare they were. But yeah, uh, yeah. You managed to successfully park the cart with the help of Sam lifting it up a bit. The uh, the farmers give a little like golf clap. Well done, lad. Yeah, I, I don't need your fucking hatred. <laughs> on descendants. Exactly. Like I said, it's my first time, all right. I got nervous. Everybody's what I'm, I'm going in. I'm going to the. <laughs> I just said, Mikado, beauty of death. Were you laughing at me saying it's my first time? Maybe. <laughs> I was nervous of everybody watching. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I got it. It's parked. Uh, where are you going? In? The inn? Yeah. We go in the inn. Yeah, you enter the happy halfling. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> that way it's that cost. Inside, it's quite cozy and relaxing. It's a it's a small inn, uh, smaller than the uh, the tavern you have in Long Lake. Um, it's it's very uh, very quaint. Just a bar, a few tables, nothing too fancy. Like a small uh, a small fireplace at uh, at one side. Uh, burning away with like a pot uh on the fire bubbling something in 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 the pot oh. and uh maybe not to your surprise but it is a halfling standing uh behind the uh, counter uh, just cleaning the uh the bar a bit with with his rag as he as he looks up as you uh, as you enter ah welcome my name is Gulliver. welcome to the happy halfling Hello. I would like food and drink. Ah, we do offer some uh, some snacks and the like, but nothing too substantial. If you want a real meal, there is a restaurant just uh, across the street from here. They serve drinks as well and entertainment. Uh, yes, I do believe they. Uh, uh, not he he believes he is certain they have a they have a very good wine over there at the restaurant. Uh, the inn here is mainly to have a drink, a snack, and uh, stay the night for travelers upstairs. And disappear in a puff of smoke. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> there she goes. We may return. <laughs> okay, be seeing you. See you later. To the restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, you uh, you cross the street and it's this um, big like stone uh, brick uh, building, which is pretty rare in this region of the world. Most things are like made out of wood, plaster and the like, like actual brick buildings are kind of fanciful uh, with a nice big thatch roof, like covering the entire uh, roof area, just this big straw thatch. And they, uh, an outside balcony seating area where you see a few, uh, a few farmers partaking in a meal and a uh, nicely dressed waiter uh, walking around between the, uh, between the tables. There is an entrance that goes directly onto the uh, balcony area, but there is also a doorway in the building itself with a big sign above it that says the Wemmick comes to Westbridge. <coughs> Excuse me, good, uh, good person. Ow, I just stuffed my tie. Could I, uh, <clears throat> could I have some food and some drink, please? Uh, yeah, the waiter will come, like, over, he'll stop at the end of the uh, balcony, like, looks over the, uh, over the side, like, uh, uh, yes, um, we have some tables free. How, uh, how big is your group? Uh, oh, grass the stream right now. Uh... <laughs> Five of us in there. Yes, five. Though I don't need a fully sized seat if that helps. Five. <laughs> a table for five. Um, would you like outside and a baby seating seat as well? <laughs> would you like outside seating, or would you uh, uh, prefer to be inside in the restaurant? No, what would you prefer? That's what it is. It is uh, coming up to the evening. It's, it is still like winter month, 
but like end of uh, of winter. So it's it's chilly, but not like cold, cold out. But it's uh, uh, other than that, it's a relative nice day, not like rainy or anything. Good outside. I've been in the carriage for, all, for hours. That's what it is then. Okay, yeah. Uh, the waiter uh, uh, gestures, please uh, follow me. Follow him. Yeah. You all follow him to a nice, uh, a nice table. Uh, there's five seats at the table, as requested. <laughs> um, you all find Do a spot to for... sit. Hmm? Do we need a seat for pick? Oh. Bless like the table. Him and bless he just sits five. on the table. <laughs> I think we should swap his seat out for a baby seat. <laughs> you can just, just sit on the now. table. <laughs> ah, he's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and as you are taking your seats, the waiter will put like a nice, like one of those three pronged uh, candelabras in the middle of the table with some candy lights, candle light illuminating. Uh, uh, the table in the area around you. There's some other people on tables enjoying their food around you. Um, he'll eventually come back, give uh, all of you like somewhat of a menu of the restaurant, and they'll start putting down some um, uh, napkins and stuff on the table. Oh, fancy! Hmm. Yeah, you get like. Why is this seems uh, too fancy? Are we sure we can afford this? Same get up, like a man. nice single page uh, menu. It has uh, wines on offer, all kinds of uh, foods on offer, from uh, appetizers to main dishes to desserts, like uh, all kinds of uh, fanciful stuff. They all have very fanciful like names instead of being like, you know, mashed potatoes. It's like, oh, the potato of the farm mashed to, to excellence with some, I don't know, spices. <laughs> like for the for the for, like well done, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to there. just trying to say for the most part you can make out what the food is, but it's all like very fancifully like mm -hmm. explained instead of just saying like no here's meat. It's like oh no meat from the chef a flank of the finest feathers oh, yes. to seventy degrees. <laughs> Restaurant winery. Apple off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, potato, I guess. I'm fucking. <clears throat> but yeah. Bomb uh, the dash. <laughs> yeah. It's just all French for some reason. It's just all French. <laughs> oh, I just ask. I just ask. Yeah, like, I, 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 I just ask him. Do you do hamburgers? Say <laughs> <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> so I've decided that it's right. French now. <laughs> yeah, well, Sorry, French le burger. Uh. We uh, it is not on the menu, but we can uh, we can arrange something. Do you I like it? Four, well please. done. Yeah. Oh, well, he'll take notes. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, as you're looking at the menu, you do notice that the prices on uh, on the menu are extreme. Remember, you're in like a small farming village. They're asking like five gold for some of these meals, which seems like Jesus. you know you know that a farmer cannot afford this. So it's weird that the festival restaurant is just here in the middle of nowhere. I think who's also selling in this restaurant, Chris? Yeah, it like seems like it's mainly like... farmers uh, sitting at the other t tables enjoying their uh, their meals. I can't afford this dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I say, get in the kitchen, I boy. Yeah. Four hamburgers. <laughs> uh, Sam just looks at his pockets. Yeah, just <laughs> like starts pulling Excuse out like a little bit yeah. of fluff and stuff. Excuse me. I, I was wondering about the prices here. Uh, yes, our uh, food is most exquisite, so uh, the customers play, pay exquisite prices. This, how, uh, does, how, how do they afford it, if you don't mind me asking? I do not ask how the customers make their money. Oh, okay. Well, I will. Just as he just I, 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 I lean back on my chair and like tap the guy behind us and just go, hey, <laughs> man, how do you afford this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he tapped the guy on the shoulder uh, and uh, he just doesn't react. He seems completely oblivious that you're trying to talk to him. 
Oh god. Okay, I stop. I stand up and I, I go right back to the car. Back to the car. Back to the car. Back to the car. <laughs> well, Snow no immediately right, so. thinks this is the fucking worm thing again, so she starts running to the cart. I want some croissant. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the damsel seems to have uh, left. Are you still staying for uh, for your dinner? Uh, uh, what? Looks what like second. no. I will also try and get someone's attention, Gress. Uh, yeah, what do you do to try to get their attention? Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna just play. Excuse me, sir. I've, I've got a question. Um, uh, how do you afford the prices of this establishment? And if that doesn't work, Gress, I'm going to roar. Do a big fucking roar with intimidation. Okay. You just very politely ask. No response. You roll, uh, you roar, rather, and you can make me an intimidation roll. <laughs> I remember if Dragon Ones actually get something, like, with intimidation. I'm, I'm looking now, because I don't know if that's just, like, a special feature that they've added in other things. can't find it, so I'm just going to roll normally. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 13 yeah you roar out um the uh, other uh, patrons i guess of the restaurant they do not react uh, to your roar at all it is like they are in some sort of uh, of trance and trolled by the food that they are uh, that they are eating the, uh, the waiter will be like, uh, Monsieur, calm yourself. No need to start uh, roaring like a wild animal. Sorry, sorry. Uh, when, when I'm hungry, I roar. Uh, just curiosity. Well, why are none of them reacting to, uh, obviously, me making a scene here? Like I said, I'm so hungry. I do apologize for this, but I'm, I'm curious. Well, when, uh, when you are enjoying your food, it is polite to just uh, eat in silence, no? I'm going to do an insight check, uh, Chris. <laughs> So am I, because this is starting to look so, I suppose I just want to be sure. Can okay. I walk up to one of the tables? <laughs> you can do what, whatever you want. What is Sam doing? Walking up to one of the tables. Uh, yeah, Sam, you uh, you stand him. up You stand up from your chair. The uh, waiter immediately like glides over towards you, like puts, puts his hands on your shoulders and kind of like... Gently pushes you down onto the chair again. Please, please, stay seated for a while. And uh, yeah, both of you with your uh, with your 13 and your 19, uh, bless something off about a waiter. Not just that he's French, but there's something off about a waiter. Oh no, and, he's French, uh, get him! <laughs> and uh, pick Sam. with your 19 in insight. You, um... Damn, baby ass! Since, since you are more attuned to the other realms like the fairy, the fairy realm and the like, you uh, detect faint hints of some sort of spirit uh, on this uh, on this waiter. Hmm. But yeah, before you can react and do anything with what you've learned, you see Sam just grab the guy. You said you grab him by the throat. Yeah. Yeah, um, you grab him by the throat. This is a this is a scrawny, somewhat elderly waiter. Like he looks to be like fifty something. Like it's not a young man anymore. He, like as you grab him by the throat, he weighs like almost nothing. You you immediately like lift him from the ground. He's just like dangling in your hand. Uh, his hands like grabbing at your wrist. Like please, Monsieur, let uh, unhand me. Sam, drop the old man. I will look over to. Uh... Picking blads and snow. So that, so that's what the guy. I ran away. He's an old guy. Calm down. Uh, he's got some uh, wacky shenanigans happening up in this bitch. Yeah. Yeah, he said some weird shit. Time to kill him, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of killing him. I was thinking of like beat beat the shit out of him. There's some oh, kind of guy. You, you gonna beat I don't know if it's just. I don't know if I'm just being paranoid, but I'm definitely feeling like something spiritual going on here. Or spiritual. What the fuck? Oh, as, yeah, uh, like spiritual. Get him, priest. <laughs> as uh, as you grab him by the neck and he grabs your wrist to like try to pull himself free, 
as he touches you, you take 17 necrotic damage. Oh, snap. Oh, oh he's gonna die now. A pig touch. Oh, there's a fight! I su do I feel that I take damage? Yes, yes. this hurts. I'm, I'm full on punching him in the face. Okay. Does that look like, for us, I does shout. it look like it took damage? You see, like, uh, as uh, this old Vader looking man, his hands wrap around uh, the wrist of, uh, of Sam, you see this veiny, like, necrotic creep, almost like spreading out from its hands across, like, Sam's arm. I'm, I'm gonna wreck this attack as well. Okay, did you take the damage, though? Yes, I've already took damage. Yeah, Does 23 uh... hit him? 23 hits him, yes. I was about to say, on that note, I call for snow and I have to go. <laughs> already? You st yeah, I said uh, you had me for an hour and a half. It has already been an hour and a half. <laughs> mm, time flies then. Yeah. You uh, it's you strike him. <laughs> uh, do you try to like... Like you have him, you have hold of him with one hand. You punch him with the other hand. Are you keeping him like... No, I'm, grappled, I'm, I guess. I'm punching him and hopefully knocking him flying away from me. Okay, yeah. You uh, give him a solid punch. He goes flying backwards into one of the tables. As the man's like uh, unmoving body is laying amongst the ruins of a broken uh, dinner table. You see a uh, greenish specter spirit like rise out of the uh, out of the waiter and as this uh, specter reveals itself the uh, the illusion of the restaurant around you starts to like fade and uh, it still looks like a restaurant but not much of a fancy one anymore more like one you would find in a farming village just a small quaint uh, restaurant on its own. And all the, uh, all the other patrons that were uh, eating there, they all, uh, as the spirit reveals itself, it seems like they all pass out and fall unconscious, like face first into their plates. Oh, shit. Sam, we're gonna Not have a real stern word with you if you killed that old man. Don't you see that fucking spirit? <laughs> Don't you old man who's not moving? <laughs> yeah. Well, shit. Didn't I you see what he's fucking done to me, you it fuck? Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You punched the guy so hard you saw his spirit leave his body. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like murder. <laughs> and that'll be initiative. Right, uh, Chris. Obviously, Please. I have to go. Do you want me to roll initiative and you just play as me? Sure. What would you do with the spirit? Gonna punch it. <laughs> okay. Just punch oh. it? Oh, wait, I need to check. I don't think I've got magic punches yet. You have a oh, magic yeah, staff, a right? Yeah, I'm a monk. Uh, uh, no, I think it's right. level 6 we get magic punches, so I'm going to hit it with my magic stick, Chris. Okay. I'm going to hit it once. <laughs> gotta hit... Yeah, the stick of striking. I'm just... <laughs> and pretty much use what you can to keep them alive, but obviously keep... Uh, Keep my other secrets uh, hidden for now. Okay. Um, yeah. I gotta like put your tokens in the initiative right before you can roll. There we go. Fuck that shit! I'm rolling. <laughs> there you go. And that's my initiative there, Chris. So you can carry on now. Yeah. All right, guys. It's been a pleasure. Sorry I have to go. Sorry, viewers, that I have to go. But uh, fuck you all. How about that? Manga Whoa. Yeah, you well, can't tell the audience to fuck themselves. I mean... But he just can, did. You can if you're a true player. Okay. Listen. I've been, I've, I've been somewhat nice through this whole episode. I need to let out some, like, some toxic... <laughs> Like masculinity at the end of it. I can't be so uh, submissive and breedable, man. You know what I'm saying? An absolute beta cuck by the end of it. So uh, fuck you all. I'm going to bed. Good night. Love you Bye. all as well. Peace. Okay, see ya. Bye. Good night. Um.
How did he roll his initiative from a sheet? He rolled on the left. Like this. Did it ultimately add? Or yeah. It did as well. There it is on the sheet, like an uh, initiative roll. Is that where it is? Yeah. Uh, the inventory. No, it's not inventory. This is on the left hand side where your AC. It's in details F5. in your like, character sheet. To your character portrait, Chris. Below that, yeah. there's a there's an initiative fly provision. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pick, are you here? Yeah. Okay. Initiative, please. Where is it on the sheet again? Underneath your uh, your picture. That is like the... Uh, Where you see your speed. Yeah, left yeah. of walk and right of... Hmm. Perfect. Yeah, there's left of walk. <laughs> Uh, if that was initiative, I think we can see this in the combat thing. Oh, you can't see your initiative? No, like the creature, if you rolled its initiative. Oh, no. You made it's, a uh, secret roll. Yeah, it's uh, it's hidden. It's not visible. Because it's just somewhere on the overworld map. But this is this is the kind of spirit that shoots out of this uh, out of this waiter, like this greenish energy, as you uh, can see in this picture. Uh, Snow, you go first. You uh, you went back to the wagon. You're like at the carriage, but you can like it was an open balcony where you were sitting, so you can see this happening. Yeah, then he was yelling for me. Um. Okay. So I see it's a ghost. Um. I guess I'll grab my violin. <laughs> I just charge in there, Chris. Go through the door. Okay. And I and I see if this works. Because uh, Sam's probably going to commit murder otherwise. I'm going to cast uh, a third level the sleep spell. Oh God, let's make my face a template then. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Everybody's asleep in that whole square. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too I to say to affect me. Uh let's see. And that is thirty-seven. Is that higher or lower than its health? That is lower than its health. Uh, it's not asleep. That's my turn. The spirit resists your sleepy uh, melodies. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nolan, it is your turn. You see the spirit rise from the uh, from the waiter. The waiter is seemingly unconscious, laying amongst the uh, the splintered wood. The uh, the wooden tables, the table that you were sitting on, the one that is like smashed, seems to be made out of like a strange wood. You don't quite like recognize it. Mahogany. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if it's detached from the waiter's body, I'll just hit it with a snicker snack. Yeah, you just lunge forward, snicker snack. Twenty-two. At twenty-two, that hits. Fourteen damage. Fourteen. Oh. I win. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Snicker Snack is magical, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you hit it for the full 14. If it was just a normal blade, it would have been resistant to it because it's it's a spirit. And I'll end my turn. It is Sam's turn, but his phone just went. So, uh, oh, okay. What does Sam do? Um, You've thrown this man. A ghost has come out of the man. How far is the ghost from that man? Uh, it's like hovering over his uh, over his body. Okay. I'm gonna rip out my trident 
Yeah. That sounds fucking. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to charge into the spirit with my trident. Trident of, of fist command. <laughs> and try and push, push the spirit back. Um. Hmm. Yeah. So, pushing, shoving. Uh, there are abilities and weapons and stuff that allow you to do it as an effect of the attack. Uh, unless yeah. if you have anything like that, if you want to actively like move something, a square and stuff, you have to take the shove action. Okay. Then I will. This I'll just attack the thing and. Can someone move this old guy away from from the spirit, please? Oh no, I don't want to use this spirit, this ability. We can't use it yet. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly check something, see if I can actually use it without raging. Okay. And seeing if I can use strike of giants without raging, but I think I can. Um, I'm going to... Uh... Yeah, it's a feat you have. It's not part of a uh, barbarian. Okay. I'm going to... to... Reckless attack it. Mm-hmm. And... 26 then... that hits. I will use the, the V1. And I'm going to use Strike of Giant fire damage, yeah. Hmm. What? Oh no, the Trident is a magic weapon. I was like, does your Trident of Fish is magic? It, but I guess, It yeah. should be a magic weapon. I, yeah, I just it bought is. it. Uh, and then fire, which is also magical. Yeah. Oh wait, we got two attacks in this, don't we? Uh, if you're higher than level five, you should have two attacks. Yeah, we we level five, so I have one more attack. Yeah, not every class gets extra attack, but barbarian definitely does. <laughs> yeah. Um, since I, I might be wait. misremembering, but I think savage or reckless attack only counts on your first. You don't get like two uh, advantage uh. ones. Side, I'll just put it in. When you make your first attack on your turn. Oh, but doing so gives you advantage on melee weapons, attack rolls using strength during this turn, so during your whole turn, so you would still have advantage. Okay. Nineteen. Um that hits. I'm glad I have this spell because I would have got nothing there. <laughs> oh really? Trident rolls off of strength. I thought that would have been a dex weapon, but I guess that makes sense because you've been using a trident this whole time. Yeah, I'm I'm using it melee, but it's since it's a phone weapon, I can use love set with it. Mm. Yeah, you lay into the spirit. Stabbing away at it with your trident of fish command as fire ignites from your trident, burning parts of the spirit away. You have clearly damaged it a lot. The spirit like lets out like an unholy screech as it like uh, it is definitely in pain. Well, as much as a spirit can be in pain, it's not having a good time. <laughs> Insanable. And. Seeing if I can. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do anything. I end my turn. Okay. Okay. When's <laughs> my burger ready? <laughs> so, would you say that you are uh, within five feet of the spirit now, Sam? Yes. Okay. Uh Get me a, fucker. Um, actually, <laughs> do me a charisma saving throw, please. I can fight this Did it. further away, but yeah. <laughs> a Christmas saving throw. 
Christmas saving throw. Yeah. I, I it sounded like you said Christmas. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did. Oh, <laughs> Christmas saving throw. <laughs> Gotta save Christmas. I, I think that's why dice. I say charisma, but I might. Oh, <laughs> I have zero on charisma. But I got nat twenty. Oh, nat twenty. Yeah, the uh, the spirit like disappears into a little wisp, a little strand of spirit, and it just whoosh, flutters straight towards you, uh, Sam. It seems to be uh, trying to possess you, like it flies straight into your uh, into your chest. But your uh, your charisma, your willpower is is too high for this creature, and uh, you just repel it. It uh, it is unable to uh, to take control of your body. He flexes. Yeah, it just flexes <laughs> away. <laughs> And the spirit flutters out into a, a few wisps of energy that disperse into the sky. Well, there it goes to the afterlife. <laughs> is, is it dead? <laughs> well, I think I mean, it was it's already gone. dead. Wow. Why so, yeah, would he pretend uh, to be a waiter? <laughs> <laughs> I have so many questions. At least it wasn't that hey. snake thing again. <laughs> I'll check on the waiter and see if he's dead. Okay, yeah. Is he dead or is he uh, uh, Is there medicine in this? Is there some sort? That is a... Uh, what do you use to stabilize? Uh, medicine. Stabilizing is just an ability, like, spare the dying. We're using medicine. the healer's kit. Just, just okay. Medicine. Yeah. Medicine... Oh, 29. Yeah, look him over. He, you know, he took a nasty beating to the face. He got hit by a by a big fist by a big barbarian boy. But uh, other than like some uh, some maybe lost lost a tooth, but um, big bruise on his eye. But uh, he's he's still alive. He's not in any uh, critical state. And as you uh, as you're looking him over, he'll like slowly come back uh, to consciousness, like. One eye squinted close, like holding his face in pain, looking around. What, what happened? Uh, he got punched in the face by a half orc. Why? Well, <laughs> oh, sacre bleu! Why did you? Why did you punch me? What happened to my restaurant? Because <laughs> you're you not friends. <laughs> I hurt you. you. Know? I would never hurt a customer. Uh, you are possessed like by a spirit. <laughs> A, a spirit? Yeah. Spirit. Oh, but we no. took care of it. And he looks around and he sees like the other people like that were unconscious are slowly starting to come to as well. Um, I see like a look of realization uh, on his face, uh, on the waiter's face. And he starts frantically like... Uh, Collecting the uh, the chairs together and starts like pushing the the tables over into like one area of the uh, of the balcony. Hey, are you good? I feel like I should rest. Go home. You got punched in the face real bad. No, uh, uh, I must get rid of this uh, of these uh, these wooden tables and chairs as soon as possible. Uh, while out uh, while out exploring with the group of the village. We found this big tree on its own, separated from the forest. It looked very magical in nature. So uh, we decided to uh, to cut it down and furnish it into a uh, fine furnishing for my uh, for my restaurant. But ever since I've had these uh, these furnishings, uh, strange things have been happening, and I uh, I think uh, I think this is the cause of all of it. So you find a magic tree and thought that'd be a good thing to sit on? Yes, would you not like to sit on a magic tree while you are enjoying the finest foods? Not really. It might perk me on my arms. Well, uh... I don't know, uh... I don't know who who you are or, uh... where you came from, but, uh... I, I guess I have your group to thank for, uh... Saving me from this? What did you say? Spirit? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry for punching you in the face. Oh, that that explains why I am so sore. 
I, Are my burgers I suppose ready yet? I, I suppose I deserve it. Burgers? Uh, I, yeah, I, I do not know anything about that, but uh, I can I can absolutely make you make you up something to eat if there are still uh, provisions uh, in the kitchen. That would be great. While uh, uh, I like go and look over the restaurant, see if everything is fine. Would you uh, would you mind disposing of the uh, wooden furnishings? Uh, you look big, strong, and capable. As he looks over at Sam, I am sure you can uh, you can smash these. Well, wouldn't it be better to um, put it all in the field and burn it? If you if you think so, I do not really know how to deal with these kinds of uh, things. Just uh, don't put them in anywhere of the farmer's fields. We don't want to burn the uh, the well, next is harvest. There, is there an empty field somewhere around there, or do I just mess it in? Yeah. Well, I could turn those into good instruments. <laughs> Magic instruments sound. Yeah, but it's got spirits in. It doesn't. We killed it. Free furniture, Sam. Maybe this toy in the woods released a spirit again, Sam, or am I just haunt you? Okay, let, let me give it a go. And I've got to put my trident for a table. Okay, just three uh, three holes in one of the tables. Yeah. For um, what looks to be like very nicely like elegant looking uh, wood it uh, seems very brittle like uh, you poke through it without effort with the um, with the trident okay how many tables would you need for a musical instrument <laughs> one one do you need the legs yes i'll pick up one table and put it in the cart <laughs> the entire table yeah. Put it on the roof. Put it in put the cart. I'll put it upside down on the roof. Yeah. And then I'll bring my axe out <laughs> ready to kill the rest. Okay, cool. You've got a table of magically spiritry on yeah. the carriage now. If somebody wants to write something like that down to remember that you have the I'll put something in the cart. Um yeah, I'm sure someone will be able to do something with this in Waterdeep. Yeah. And uh and the people in the restaurant, they recover from everything that has happened. Uh, as the illusion of the spirit has worn out, it is a more like uh, more local little farming restaurant, nothing too fancy. Uh, but the uh, the waiter, also owner, also chef, he does everything here. He uh, eventually comes back out with a whole plate of like... Um, uh, oh shit. Left a whole plate of burgers, on. but just like the meat, just like burger patties. <gasps> no bread. Uh, like uh, that's what he'll makes see it a burger. Yeah, he'll see you guys at the uh, at the wagon. He like walk over with like one of those, uh, you know, like a silver tray where he pulls the lid off, and it's just all like <laughs> steamed, uh, <laughs> steamed hams, um, steamed uh, burgers. <laughs> 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 oh, the old Skinner recipe, I see. Mm. I take one, and, you know, do that thing where you bounce it from hand to hand with try to cool it. Yes, yeah, my thanks, and he'll, he'll hand you a napkin. So you're gonna hand the bill. That's my thanks. <laughs> Just hand you the bill. The bill. <laughs> <laughs> Think what something the restaurant would do. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in a napkin and start eating it. Just, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, and then like they're good. Like he, it's nothing too festival. It's just he threw meat on a on a pan and cooked it pretty much. I don't care. <laughs> Grounded up meat. Yeah. You got some burgers, you got some food in you. Uh, and a free it, table. It was becoming like evening as you were uh, in the uh, in the restaurant, so it's it's like around like seven-ish. It's not too late, but it's getting dark-ish out because uh, it is end of winter time, so it's still dark pretty early. Uh, you guys can continue traveling down the road. Um... Until it gets like fully dark and camp for the night, or just drive through the night, or stay here. It's it's completely up to you guys. Okay, we we'll just keep. Yeah, let's keep What's moving. That? Just get to our deep. Yeah, just keep going. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna drive? Because I need a rest to have the cushion up all them tables. Yeah, you I'll can drive. take shifts, uh, driving in shifts, and have the others resting. Maybe we should keep, take a couple of chairs as well, so we can sit on them. 
sit down on oh, them, not poo we, on them. We can, okay. we yeah, can yeah, sit yeah. in the carriage. Yeah. Yeah, but while we've got the table, we might as well use it. You can if you want. I don't complain to have more wood for instruments. I'm going to take five cheers. <laughs> five. Okay. All right, the, the carriage. <laughs> Sure. He doesn't want the wood anymore. It was it was cursed spirit wood. You can have it all. Oh, you saying? Yeah. You could have a table eat. <laughs> you can only Very carry so much on it. your carriage. <laughs> Just on a point. But I can be old in him while we want. I get the stack bag of chairs. Of holding grips and start shoving chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Some guy in the other realm is like, where do these chairs keep coming from? <laughs> Can you even fit a chair in the bag of Alden? Uh, I think it has to be five feet or something. Um, yeah, it depends how big the chair is. Let me see. Description. You can pretty uh, much shove a, sh a soccer ball in a bag of holding. Yeah, two feet Good in ball. diameter at the mouth, four feet deep. It can hold up to 500 pounds, but it can exceed a volume of 60 few cubic feet. The bag weighs 15 pounds regardless of its contents. Yeah, so I guess two it's feet. Like two feet in diameter and four feet deep. If it's yeah, two feet you get best it, about. Mm. I was going to say, if it's swallowing it, can it expand around it since it's already got it all the way through its mouth? What? Uh, yeah, like if you can get it like through it, you can like wiggle it in, I guess. Like you're trying to get yeah. a chair up the stairs, you know. <laughs> you know, yeah. pivot, pivot. <laughs> yeah, the mouth's the mouth's max opening is two feet. That's its limitation. Okay. Now, and I'm looking up the average size of a chair. Okay. <laughs> seventeen <laughs> to nineteen inches. Okay, seventeen inches. We'll say in feet. What about stomach? Uh, one point four what, four feet is uh, the average chair. Oh. So there you go for a dining chair in width. So, yes, we could technically shove these into the back. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can uh, have X amount of uh, spirit wood on the uh, on the wagon that you can uh, create things with, sell, do with whatever uh, you can think of what you want to do I'm with it. I'm going to get some cursed instruments. It's going to be awesome. Hmm. Yeah, I think once we get to Waterdeep, I want to buy an actual table <laughs> so we can put on top of the cart. Yeah. So as sure. you... Uh, <laughs> As you, uh, table. Mm -hmm. we well, it's um, holding. Uh, you guys settled on buying a carriage, right? Yeah, yeah, with the roof and everything. Yeah, so it is like closed with like seating on the inside. I imagine mm -hmm. that is a table on the inside. Yeah, but you don't always okay. want like if we stop in at night. You go inside. Stuff. I get what he's saying. Yeah, you, you don't or like, food and shit. like you want like. A fold open table, like when you go camping, you like fold yeah. it out. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. You can put the fire on and then get everyone around the table and have some songs, eat. Yeah, have like a tarp you can like pull over it as like some roof Sounds cover. Good. Yeah, and then get killed because we're not looking at the surrounding. And I have a two person them. tent, so we could use that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you travel a. Uh, uh, you continue traveling, you leave uh, the town of Westbridge, continue down the long road. On your, um, on your left, you see the somber hills as you uh, continue traveling down the road. On your right, it is just pretty much sprawling open fields with some mountainous uh, areas past that. And uh, some forests that you can see uh, behind you now and a little bit in front as well, uh, speaking out. Uh, as you travel down this road, this is uh, to go down like one full square is two days. So um, you travel for two days without incident. You're taking turns driving the uh, the carriage. Does that count if, as a long rest? If anybody wants, yes, you can absolutely rest during those uh, two days. Rest, attune, swap out spells, uh, change things you're attuned to, uh, mm. reset your... Uh, Fighter points, key points, anything like that. Okay, okay. Stuff that resets at the at the start at the start of dawn will reset now as well, because you'll go through two downs. I'll see if Blast needs to restore his key points or anything.
He helped me. Okay, cool. Now there is uh, a few stops along the way towards uh, Waterdeep. Uh, and then Waterdeep, the big city itself. Uh, as you uh, continue traveling down, another, uh, another two days passes. Nothing really happening on the road. You do uh, encounter your occasional uh, other travelers um, coming from the direction of Waterdeep, like caravans. It seems to be mainly merchants and traders that you run into. Along oh. the way, they all give you like a polite greeting. As you are... Uh, sorry, you wanted to do something? Uh, well, if, we're, if nothing happens over the two days, I would ask uh, Pick if he could sp uh, spend some time translating those books. I'll give it a go for you. You, got a, you, have... you got a small pen? Small you have plenty of time and you have... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I could get a feather from somewhere. You have plenty of time to translate the books, and you know uh, what was it? It was Elvish, right? That the books were in, or uh, like yeah. Sylvan, or whatever yeah. the Elvish, Elvish language is. Elvish. Yeah, I'll give them all things sticky, slippery, and wet, and tales from the glooming court. Or and also, if he has time, I'll give him pity. He's an elf. I've got plenty <laughs> more, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you see the description of these books already? Uh, no. Okay. It says there's a button that says reveal, but I can't click it. Okay, I see. Um, make me a intelligence pick just to see how well you do. A 16, I'll say a 16 is pretty good. You take some time during uh, this like week that you're going to be traveling down to Waterdeep in your off time to translate some of these books. Um, are you like inside of the carriage as they are riding, like writing away with your ink and quill? Every now and then like a big bump makes your quill like shoot out like, ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it. Um, yeah, you successfully translate all three of the books. I will reveal the information if... Where are they? Where are these books? Uh, they're in my bag of holding. Okay. Bag of holding. Um, what are the others doing during the three days? That's a good question, Chris. Aiden's phone rang, so... Uh, probably thinking of a way of how I'm going to explain to the church that I died and got back, and that's why yeah. the symbols of uh, my deity started lighting up. So I'm changing spells quite a lot, so most likely just praying. Okay. Uh, but he's an elf. Ah, uh, yeah, so the... Um description of the books that you see of uh, written for children illustrates and describes substance that would fascinate them such as boggle oil, troll spittle and various flavors of tree sap. That's what the book is about. The uh, little thing that is like hidden to reveal mm -hmm. is uh, a little gem note that's like hey these are all written in, uh, in elvish. They, okay. All of these books have a uh, withered frog's body stitched on the spine. While you were there in the fey realm if you would have kissed the frog, that would uh, that would translate the books. <laughs> okay. That's the little hidden uh, part of it. Kissing but... the frog or stroking it with a with a moistened finger. So it's the it's not the kiss, it's the saliva. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Would have like yeah, revealed yeah, just... the title of the book in Elvish. Okay. I'll just work on translating them for snow. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you travel down. After a few days, you reach the uh, the first other town. Uh, one, so four days. Let me just skip four days ahead. On my little calendar. Should we deplete our rations then? Uh, yeah, you've definitely been uh, 
eating during these days so you can take off X amount of rations you think you would have eaten during the four days of travel? If you say one a day, or maybe you eat two a day. But if you eat none, uh, if you go X amount of days without food, you start getting exhaustion. No, I took four off since we did four days then. Yeah, I get it. I've got four now. Okay, cool, cool. I didn't, uh... Well, I guess we could have got away with not eating for the first day since, you know, burgers, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, you reach the next town, uh, sign says Amphail, A-M-P-H-A-I-L. Um, it, uh, it's a little town that lies around the long road. Um, small town with a town with a town square that has a big uh, stone statue in the uh, in the town square. And there's, there's some people about, there's some children playing around the uh, statue. Do you drive through the town? Do you inspect the statue? Do you do anything else? <laughs> mm. I feel we should probably stock up on some rations just to be safe, guys. Yeah, we'll go I have the enough, town. but uh, yeah, we can get out and stretch our legs. But I swear, if another weird thing happens or we see any of those tentacle things, I'm leaving. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Gris, how much progress would I have made over those four days then on the snow's book? Uh, with, your, you, with your 16, during those four days, you translated all three of the books. Mm, I must have been really good at it then. All right. Yeah. Or they're so, really short books. Yeah. <laughs> that one of them is written for children, like... <laughs> Uh, that's fair. Well, here you go, Snow. I'll finish the translations. Thank you. I'll read through them whenever I get a chance. Can I get my inspiration for doing that, Zach? I'm yeah. kidding. <laughs> you can. Hmm. Yeah, you can have an inspiration for helping another party member out. I'll okay, allow it. I'll, just... I'll allow uh, it. Yay. I have no description of like what kind of stores and stuff in this town. It's a very like just small town with a small description, but uh, you can find like a general store that sells like rations and the like. If you are uh, looking to buy some food for on the way, I'm alright. We're just doing right. default cost of them, or is it going to be like haggling? Uh, you see, uh, some market stalls selling rations for on the road, and they sell them for uh, uh, what seems to be. Six silver pieces, so one silver than the normal, more than the normal cost. <laughs> Can I, I uh, guess, check the food to see what quality it is? Uh, yeah. Uh, perception, if you're just looking over the food. Investigation, if you are investigating the food. Or insight, if you're like talking to the person and be like, I want to ask you about your food. <laughs> Uh, like if it's in one silver more, I just want to make sure it's at least good quality food. Yeah, you uh, you look at the uh, the food. It's a collection of meats and the like, like venison, uh, stuff you would get from hunting uh, in the nearby open plains. And it looks uh, it looks good quality food. It looks uh, pretty fresh, like this was hunted recently. Hmm. All right, then. I will purchase... Uh... I think I'll purchase six of them just to be sure. So that would be six, right? 30, 36 silver. Or am I doing 36 the silver, there? yeah. Or three uh three gold, six silver. Yeah, I've got a lot of silver, I'll just pay all in silver. Oh, thank you very much. Enjoy your food, little one. Thank you very much. You can add six rations. Done. Uh, while you're shopping, you see some children throwing stones at birds that are like uh, sitting on top of the uh, the big stone statue that you saw in the town square. Hmm. Are there how many people are around? <laughs> uh, like twenty-ish, like uh, a small like market, uh, I guess area. There's some people shopping, some people. Uh, just walking about with their kids and stuff like that. Can I hit one of those kids with a stone? 
<laughs> without anyone seeing. Like not this, like evilly, just like bonk them. Discreetly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not like no, I'm not trying to kill the kid. Just like whack. Like here, you little shit. Leave those birds alone. Do me a sleight of hand, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. Ooh. Yeah, you throw like a little pebble, like just at one of the kids. And the kids like, honest. Ah, I got another one of the nasty birds. Leave our statue alone. Look, ow. What? Did you throw a stone at me? And you see like the kids, the kids are kind of starting to like quarrel amongst themselves. They're like blaming each other for where the stone came from. Yeah, that seems like something kids would do. Yeah. I'll go check the statue out and see what uh, Gris is trying to get us to look at. I mean, uh, expect what the statue's about. <laughs> It is a black stone statue of a of a war stallion. It's just oh. a a big statue of a big old black horse. Mm. It's uh, it's it's like you know in that like rearing pose that you see a lot yeah. of uh, horse statues in. Is there a plaque? Um, it just has a little uh, nameplate at the bottom at the base of the statue that just says the Great Sh Charlar Charlarn. Arn. Arn. Hmm. I wonder why they like a horse so much. Okay, oh, Chris, well. is this like a small city or medium, big? Uh, small. Small. Hmm. I'll just ask uh, if somebody's like walking out of this as like a jewelry store. Somebody who sells like rings, diamonds, and stuff like that. Or on that subject, once I get my rations back to the cart, I would also look for any dropped coins that anyone might miss. <laughs> look for no, uh, uh, yeah, you you ask around. Uh, no, uh, no jewelry stores, no trinkets really in this uh, in this town. Uh, they'll they'll let you know that this town is. Relative close to uh, Waterdeep. Waterdeep is about like three to two days away from here, depending on uh, how fast you uh, you ride, and that uh, that most of the commerce happens in uh, Waterdeep itself. That this town is more uh, somewhat like a suburb of a big city. It's like all the way on the outskirts of how far uh, Waterdeep reaches. So is it like uh, just a hamlet? Yeah, is that the right term? I think so. I'll go up to Nolan and pick, and then I'll say, I'll just rudely interrupt everybody and just say, what's with the horse statue? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, some of the people... Around. Yeah, if, like some of the people that are nearby is like, oh, you're inquiring about the uh, the statue? It is... Yeah, uh, that one. It's the Great Shalarn. It is a, a famous war stallion that was bred in Amphil long ago. Why do you have a statue of it? It uh, it was the uh, it was a stallion that has served many heroes during their uh, quests and heroic deeds. It was a mighty fine stallion of legend, you could say. And uh, we've been uh, we've been keeping we our little town here are keepers of the uh, statue to keep it uh, respectable, uh, which is why we uh, we allow our children to throw uh, small pebbles at the birds that uh, take take up seating upon the statue so they don't uh, defecate all over it. It harsh. But I guess it must have been an impressive war horse if it outlasted many of its riders. Uh, or yes. a really bad one and kept getting the riders <laughs> killed. Some say that the, uh, the stallion itself was magical, that it was born in a magic zone. So we could maybe find this horse? Well, legend says that it appears when uh, heroes need it most, but no one has seen uh, a Charlarn in uh, in decades. Oh, quite. Okay, now all we have to do is go underground to the Chamber of Secrets and fight a basilisk, and it'll appear before <laughs> us. This doesn't get that reference. Kinda. Uh, I know it's Harry Potter, it. but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's Harry Potter. Um, well... I'm sure knowing this group will probably be in need at some point. Yeah. Maybe we'll see it. Hmm. Wherever we go, weird things happen. We've seen our fair share of strange goings on, haven't we, Snow? Yeah. 
Tentacle Monster. Old uh, Hags. Yeah, Hag. Oh, well, uh, Tom, good day to you. Ago. As this person walks away that was uh, telling you about the horse, he's like, I want nothing to do with this. Hags. <laughs> yeah, but walks. <laughs> I just walk away, I keep listing things. Sam punched a guy four days ago and his ghost went flying out of him. <laughs> so now just drifts off and starts listing, st keeps <laughs> listing all the crazy stuff we've been doing. Yeah. Yeah. And then blind animals, um, monsters. Sam punched a kid and then he disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he had, to, he had to think about it. <laughs> It's like that meme where you, where someone gets hurt and then they oh, just God. scream and it gets cut off and they disappear. Ah. Oh. They're just revealing a bit more of the map. You did not go into the ocean. <laughs> yeah, as deep. You, as, yeah, it's very deep. As you travel uh, further south from Amphale, um, less than a day away, there's another little like outpost town, a, uh, a quiet village that has a signpost outside that reads... Rasalantar. Rasalantar. It's a quiet village. Uh, as you drive Mall through it, there's uh, some people. Place. There's some people doing business, but you don't really see any shops or anything. Uh, you do see um, a place that seems to be a roadside inn with a sign outside that reads "The Sleeping Dragon." Well, we're pretty close to water deep, aren't we? Yeah, we should yeah. just push on and get there. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if Gris planned out like a massive thing in that one tavern and we just <laughs> skipped over all his hard work. Every area, something can happen. That's the beauty of the ND. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you drive, you, you drive through, you continue going uh, through the... Uh, through the town some uh, some people like politely greet you as you uh, as you trot by i imagine you're not like bolting at full speed as you're driving through this village no. you're like at a slow trot like taking in the sights it's a nice yeah. relaxing uh we don't want to run that old man jenkins over <laughs> you uh you continue down the road finally after another day of travel you see the city of Waterdeep in the distance uh probably to a lot of you, the biggest city you've seen so far, way bigger than any of the hamlets, little towns, and the like that you've been uh, traveling towards. Ever the biggest and, place uh, I've ever seen. Yeah, you get like the immediately like very recognizable uh, smell of seawater. Like, you know, when you're close to the ocean, you can kind of like smell that you're close to the ocean. Fun facts, mm -hmm. that smell from seawater is bacteria farts. Oh, oh. <laughs> great. Oh, nice. Fun fact, Snow has never smelt this before, so she's very confused. <laughs> yeah. You hear, well, like, rushing waves in the distance. Way, Chris, there's something I want to try, but because I think it would be a very bad idea to try and uh, do this in the city. I, I pull up yeah. the violin, and I try to sing the song that the Hydra was singing. <laughs> oh, okay. I want to see what it does. So I'm like, you know, Uber Escondus and all that shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Also killed the cat. Uh, do me performance, but this will be uh, a disadvantage because it's not like a song known yeah. to you. You have to like teach yourself. Gotta teach myself. Performance at disadvantage. Nineteen. A nineteen. Yeah, you mimic the song uh, well enough. You remember some of its like words that you heard echoing through your mind. Mm. Uh, but. Uh, you don't seem to get any of the effects of it. Oh, it's the creature, not the song itself. That's good to know. Don't need to name that thing. <laughs> Scared about... fucking puck. I'll come how up about... with the name. How about multi pale face? <laughs> multi pale face. <laughs> uh, yeah, you reach. Uh... The uh, city walls of Waterdeep, there are many people, way more people than you've ever seen together, probably. Like, this is a busy town. Like, it's like coming from a farming town and hitting New York City. Like, it's a massive, like, shock mm. of how many people there are. It's very busy, very bustling. You hear people talking everywhere. It's You don't find, like, a moment of silence. Well, if excuse me, guys, I think I'm going to take to the skies. A bit more comfortable up there, you know? Make sure. sure you don't get sucked down. Whatever you want. 
I'm not going like too high, just like above the crowd, so it's not just too watch much. Watch the buildings, Roger. Watch yourselves down I'm there. Go flying to the towers. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Snow, you uh, procured mm. uh, Volos, Waterdeep, and Richidion. So you mm. have like a visitor's guide to uh, Waterdeep in your position. And Chiridion. And Chiridion, yes. <laughs> that, that looks right. Uh... But yeah, I guess this is all of you your first time at Waterdeep, or have some of you been here before? I might have passed Never. it. Stim my travels, but I don't think I've been in before. Uh, just what Wizard told us. Okay. Every day he told us. He told us to watch out for that criminal gang, and we were told to check out something in the catacombs. That's all I remember. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, as you arrive still outside of the city walls, you drive to a bunch of lands that is uh, controlled by the uh, Lords of Waterdeep. You see many banners um, of the Lords of Waterdeep on your way here along the roads. Armored patrols of what looks to be like a professional-like guard slash army force patrolling along the roads. Like, like unnecessarily little... decorated level armor that's got all the shoulder pads and stuff. Uh, yeah, the, um, I think I have a picture here. Maybe even embezzled with the relative banner symbol symbols as well. Yeah, the city guard looks like these guys. Yeah. So very oh, shiny. Damn. Pretty sure I fought those in Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, and, uh, oh, 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 as you approach, as you drive down the long road, it's... The, somewhat comes, the traffic comes to a crawl. Like There are many carriages and wagons in front of you trying to get through the gates of uh, Waterdeep into the city itself. You are very much stuck in a traffic jam that's going towards the city very slowly. As you are just kind of uh, queuing up with the rest of the carts, you uh, see a group of uh, massive uh, griffins fly over with riders on top of them. Mm. That's impressive. <laughs> oh no. You're like, I imagine you're... if there's a line, they're probably doing inspections at the gate then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're in the queue. Uh, are you doing anything? Or are you just uh, waiting until uh, you're at the gates? Well, if we're moving real slow, I guess I'll climb on top of the cart and like lay because I imagine you didn't put the chair. The table standing up, I imagine it's like on its back. Yeah, but yeah, like the legs up. Yeah, I'll just be laying on that, like uh, in the center, just playing a flute or something. I'm just, just going time. up a bit. I'm just going up a bit to see if I can get a view of where those griffins are landing. Out of curiosity, or if they're just like going overhead, like a jet patrol. Uh, yeah, it's like a group of three uh, griffin riders patrolling. They they are very obviously patrolling. Hmm. Uh, who is driving the cart at this moment? Um, Me. I will. Oh, Nolan. Oh, or if you're tired, we can make Blaz do it since he's not here and can't object. <laughs> <laughs> he has no will. Uh, yeah, you eventually reach the uh, the city gate. A uh, a guardsman will walk over to you, uh, holding somewhat of a uh, of a register, like a wooden plank with like some scrolls of paper on, and a uh, a quill like stuck in the top. He'll, like, lift his metal helmet, like, look up at you. Uh, are you here uh, to visit or uh, to stay as residents? Are you residents or visitors? Business. Visitors. No business option? No business uh, class. How long do you plan on uh, staying in Waterdeep? Several weeks. Uh, a couple of weeks at most. Well, our business is concluded. Hmm. If you uh, intend to stay uh, beyond a 10-day, you must uh, register yourself at a register inside of the city. This can either be done at the harbour or at any of the gates or the city court. Is a gate? Uh, yeah. Can we do it yes. here in this gate? If you plan to stay uh, hmm. beyond a 10-day, I can show you to the nearest register and you can get yourself registered. That'll be great. If you may. Yeah. All right, then. Uh, just uh, your gale is. <laughs> just leave your carriage <laughs> off, off to the side here. I'll uh, Sorry. 
Nothing will happen to it. We'll uh, escort you uh, to a magister. Okay. And uh, yeah, they take you like inside the uh, side entrance of like the gatehouse. Uh, there is a little a little office setup where you see a man just wearing black robes. Uh, he beckons you forward. He's like, ah, yes, I am uh, Magister Joffrey of uh, Waterdeep. <laughs> Hello, yeah, we will try to register here if we're staying more than 10 days. Ah, I see. You want to register for uh, extended stay. Are you uh, yeah. traders, uh, businessmen, adventurers, mercenaries? All, all of the above. Well, I would say adventurers more so, but maybe I'm just, maybe that's just me. <laughs> adventurers, yeah. Yeah, adventurers. We are the arcane melodies. Also, come on, Chris. A guy wearing all black robes and you didn't give him an Emperor Palpatine voice. <laughs> Just sign the registry. Do it. <laughs> ah, that's why I like it. Uh, <laughs> I want this treaty signed. <laughs> yeah, he rolls out a very lengthy uh, legal scroll uh, signed by all kinds of uh, names at the bottom. If you just like to uh, sign here with uh, just an X will do as a... Uh, as proof that you have registered with our fine city. I have a question. I read yes. the thing first before I sign it. <laughs> yeah, we're reading it before we sign it. <laughs> Do you allow all folks in? Yes, no. of course. <laughs> okay. Only the Do good allow what in? Do you say our folks or our oh, folks? Holy shit, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Only the good air. <laughs> he said half orcs, like. What well, is his race? But yes, no, all races are welcome here in Waterdeep, except for the more chaotic ones, of course. Uh, like fans. Okay, yes, I would, I, I would glance at Snow real quick and just make sure that doesn't come up. Uh, but yeah, as you uh, look over this very lengthy scroll, do you read, try to read it in detail or just kind of like glance over it, try to like read the important bits? Try to read it in full because, like, this guy is just like, I just signed it. Don't worry about it. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> is, is there going to be a part where we sell our souls, Chris? Uh, yeah, you, you read over it. Um, I'm just um, going to read fine print, like the small print. Make sure there's no catch 22s in there. Just like in short, uh, it pretty much says that registering with a magister. Uh, Pretty much registers you as a citizen of Waterdeep, and you are uh, subject to a monthly taxation. And failure to pay these taxes can result in a fine or forced labor. But what if I leave before the end of the month and just come back in after? But we're not citizens. It doesn't say that oh, on the scroll. What happens if you leave? <laughs> Wow. Well, if there's nothing suspicious, then well, I'll, well, I'll ask then. Sign it. What if we leave the city afterwards? Do we still are we still required to pay the taxes then? Well, if you stayed here beyond a ten day, then you owe the city of Waterdeep uh, one taxation. But uh, if you depart after that, we uh, do not uh, tax you for uh, time that you are not in the in the city. All right. Do thank we need you for clarifying. It when we leave. Uh, we keep a uh, we keep a tight control of who comes in and out of the uh, city through the uh, gates. If you uh, if you leave or enter, it will be a noted town so that uh, the correct taxation can be done. What is the taxation? Uh, it is a monthly taxation uh, dictated by uh, the High Lord of uh, Waterdeep. Uh, it fluctuates in. Uh, in price, the uh, current taxation for a month, I believe, is five gold. Per party or per person? Per person. What the okay. fuck? Well, right. cities didn't get this big by being cheap with their subjects, you know, guys. And what do you count as a month? Is that 28 days? Uh, or, would, or would you specifically say, like, at the end of the month on this calendar kind of thing? Mm-hmm. Yes, when you're here at the end of the month of this calendar, you will be taxed. 
It is difficult for us to... Uh, before that, do we not get taxed? Uh, you will be uh, receiving a uh, letter for taxation upon your return. Okay. Uh, and I want is 30 days in this. Okay, I'll say. You wanna... Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you don't mind me asking you a question. Hey, does he mind question? Uh, is it, do you have questions about our great city? Are you yeah. really the head of the Quickie Mart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind. Uh, no, please. Uh, as a magister, it is my duty to help uh, new people, uh, new arrivals to Waterdeep. Uh, is this your first time? Yes. Uh, we, in a village, like, far away from here, about a week away, we killed a strange creature that we don't know its name. We were hoping maybe you can drop it off here to be studied. Ah. Well, you've come to, uh, person. you've come to the right town. There are many, uh, adventurer guilds, all, uh, uh, profession guilds, and all kinds of, uh, other groups and organizations that, uh, Specify in monster hunting or a discovery of ancient secrets and the like. Uh, can you give us a name of one if you can remember? Uh, <laughs> he, or is it better if I just ask the people around the town? Yeah, he doesn't know a specific one, meaning I don't know a specific one, but it's in there somewhere. It's a big city, <laughs> many buildings, <laughs> many organizations. Also, the city of Long Lake, the city, the village of Long Lake needs a, a new mayor. Ah, I do believe Long Lake falls under our protection. What happened to the current mayor? Uh, oh, it was eaten by this, and I go and get the head off the cart. <laughs> there oh, go. what kind of? Beastly creature is this? I've never seen anything like it. Neither have we. We were thinking about calling them long, silly snakes. <laughs> a, a very threatening name. Yes. <laughs> I'm probably going to change that name every time I get asked. Do you know anyone that could identify it? Like a monster guild or expert or... There are know. absolutely places in the city where you can do it, but me as the DM, I'll have to check. I don't remember yeah, all the buildings time. out of the top yeah. of my head. Just say, you know, we told us one people that could get it next time. Yeah. Right, thank you. I'll put the gross head back. And thank you for uh, signing up with the registry of our uh, fine city. You all signed up, right? Like, nobody skipped the signing? Sam? Yeah, I signed up. Okay, <laughs> I didn't hear you specifically say it. I was like, mm, did he, didn't he? And pick I you as well? I was not going to, but... Back is muted. Ah, oh, he's muted. Yeah. Oh, bitch. I'm going to assume for now that he signed up, because otherwise he's not allowed in the city, which, if I say that, he's just going to fly over the wall. I am well aware. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big, big magical city might have safeties in place for actual Probably. flying creatures. He gets shot down by the Griffin Raiders. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you are uh, uh, you, you are escorted back to your carriage. Carriage is still, uh, still there. All your stuff is there. You are allowed entrance into uh, into Waterdeep. A big, big sprawling city. Uh, many different uh, districts. Uh, as you enter through these uh, busy streets, you see the uh, patrolling Griffin Riders fly over again. Uh, I'm saying all this because I've got a picture, but I can't exactly find it, so I'm just stalling <laughs> for time. <laughs> Here we go. Whoop. See right through the bustling streets, following the other carriages <laughs> in front of you. you see <laughs> many people. The orange. Holy shit. Griffins. I'm so that. happy to see oh. them. Oh, that's amazing. And now that you've reached the big city, I'm gonna call it here because there are many things to do here. But Shopping out of in, out of interest, <laughs> what does everybody want to do now that you are here? Make are you, money. yeah? Are you immediately like splitting up in your different, like going all your different ways, exploring the city? You're gonna find a place to stay first and park your carriage and stuff yeah. like that, and then go from there. 
My suggestion. Well, I'm gonna. Here's my suggestion. We find a place to stay. But here's what, like Snow wants to do. She wants to uh, see if her uh, master passed through here. She wants to uh, check out these catacombs we were told to check out. Um, yeah. She wants to get the monster identified. Wants to see if there's a bard guild. Wants to sell her stuff. And then check and see if there's any one of those fancy smashy belts. And as a player, I want to find Gale. <laughs> but I don't know if he's actually going to be here, but I still want to find him. <laughs> okay. I'm I'd not writing that down right. immediately, probably... but uh, I'm going to re-listen to the ends just to, like, get all that. <laughs> Probably we'll stick with the others till we find a place to stay, but then I'll just search around, see if there's anything interesting going on, you know. Since I can fly, I'll be able to get around the city quicker and find out information faster for the guys. And hit some marks while I'm at it. Oh, uh, you were muted earlier. Did you sign the uh, Magister's Registry as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a big magical city. Uh... They have some like safety precautions against uh, flying entities in case their danger ever ca in case their city ever came under danger from flying uh, things. So flying might not be as easy in this city, but uh, you can definitely attempt to have a fly around. Hmm, but the griffins can fly just fine, or are they yeah. like flying over the thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just have like spikes on all the roofs, <laughs> like cities do to stop pigeons. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. They just and nested the in the spikes. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, so I've got, like, an idea of what uh, Snow wants to do, what Pick wants to do. What about Sam and Nolan? Now you're in the big city, the big times. As I said uh, during previous settings, there are many underground catacombs, dungeons and stuff in Waterdeep that adventurers regularly go down to go and explore. Kind of... <laughs> if you've seen any anime where they go, like... Probably to a dungeon same. and it's like in different floors it's like oh we cleared floor one but we go to floor two floor three and stuff like that it's kind of like that going on in this city adventurers regularly go in and clear out like new sections of these massive dungeons is it uh, wrong to pick up women in a dungeon Chris? yeah <laughs> is it <laughs> i don't know Chris. i don't know <laughs> i don't know i thought it was gonna be like the french catacombs at first mm. i'd like yeah, to initially that's what i was thinking like the ones full of skulls in france yeah yeah, big like Paris ones that people regularly go into to explore, but then usually get lost and die in. Yeah, dead massive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, what was that, sir? I'd like to join a guild and get some um, oh. killing on. That's a big what commitment. Kind of, what kind of guild? Like a fighter's kind of guild? An adventurer's kind of guild. Well, you know of uh, Valor's Call, who was the group of adventurers that uh, helped you guys out in the Fey Realm, in the Prisbeer. Can yeah. you join multiple guilds? That's a question for the guild. Can you? Yes. Should you? That's up to you. Like, joining a guild comes with responsibilities. Like, if you join, like, a bunch of them, you're gonna have responsibilities to a bunch of them. I'm just thinking of... If I join the Adventurer Guild, I can go on Adventures. But if I join a Fighters Guild and an Adventurer Guild, would not both work together? I imagine there's some overlap. I imagine there's also somewhat of a um, mages guild, I guess. But that's also you also join them if you're an adventurer to like combine your uh, your skills as like a mage and an adventurer kind of deal. Get like, any, I'm XP sure for this? any XP for this, or will that be next session? Um, we just did a bunch of. Uh, Traveling and talking and stuff like that, but I will award you guys some experience. Let me just get the calculator out. We did kill a spirit. You did kill Gotta a spirit, wait. that's right. Gotta add I that nearly killed my old man. Yeah. I ruined his business. <laughs> How much XP is a waiter <laughs> worth? <laughs> and also, the tables that we didn't keep, we destroyed, so... Okay. Uh, one XP for each table. We're chopping XP. <laughs> I fucking rune skip. <laughs> you punch the tree, you get some experience. <laughs> um. Okay. 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 I keep them looking you at get... like, oh my god, it's so expensive. Uh, <laughs> you all get 250 experience. Nice. 
but add that to blast his sheet. So so I think puts you on an even 12,000. 12, With 2,000 away from level up. Yeah. Well, if that's all, I'll be off then and see you guys next time. For the yeah, exciting shopping montage. <laughs> shopping. <Of course>. shopping. <laughs> see you guys next time. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll try to cram as many locations of Waterdeep into my brain, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, once <laughs> we're in the town proper, it's gonna be a lot of uh, where you wanna go. Okay, give me a second, I'm gonna see where that is. <laughs> like going back and forth like, between, uh, uh, between my map and the, uh, yeah. and the game. Try to find, I've try got to find a, one of those like maps that are like. Uh, do you remember what's that city that we always went to in Warhammer? Yeah, uh, it's Uber where the strike. orphans lived. Yeah, Uber Strike. See if you can find one. Yeah. Of them, maybe. I've got. I've uh, like, uh, I think I can share this. I don't think it has spoilers or something. I'll just put it in general. There is a. I'm using this already, like an interactive map of Waterdeep. That's like oh, you Jesus can click Christ. on like where all the things are. And Jesus stuff. Christ! <laughs> but it's such a big place. <laughs> It's a very big place, it's way bigger. What I thought it would be fuck? like Trades Ward, Dock Ward, Southern Ward, that three, I thought that would be as big as it was. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> three times bigger than I thought it was. It's, it's a big time. Uh, I actually uh, do have this map in game. I'll, I'll load it. Okay. I think um, I guess we just Sam do that. will be overwhelmed as well. Yeah, she go, he'll be living in Fish Gut Court doing some fishing. Yeah, you're either coming from the east or north, depending on... Uh, the or road map. To put the it makes thing. sense that we're coming from the north. Uh, but we're heading north. Wait, it's Twelgate? We'd be coming oh. from the south, wouldn't we? Because we were heading north to get up to Neverwinter. Uh, uh. Yeah, but it kind of like... Um, it uh, it forks together the road that you came from and the road that goes towards Neverwinter. Uh. It like splits off north of Waterdeep uh, on the okay. uh, gotcha. overworld map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which way do we, do we come from? Uh, if I'm reading the uh, map correctly, you come from the north gate. Did I ping? Okay. Where's my ping not working? We took the high road, Chris. Is Ooh. it because you're on a different map? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we'll put the party token down. At the I'm gate for now. <gasps> Chris! Yeah. Salted pork. There's a salt pork <laughs> street. I want to <laughs> <laughs> See? Soul Maiden! So, Soul Maiden! Oh, I see the Soul Maiden! Yeah, right next to 12 Dark Court! <laughs> 12 Dark Court! 12 Dark Court! Slipgate, Suit, Burn Alley, Flip Coin, Fire Wine Alley! I wonder what they sell there for alcohol. Probably beer. Oak Man. What's the point of this wall if it's just open on this side? The is it a cliff? Oh, because there's a cliff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this, it's uh. Still. You this little section of the town, this like uh, whole like front bit, is kind of like an abandoned part. Rooms? It's 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 the ghetto. It's like we don't really look at this part of the city. <laughs> so of course you're coming from that direction. <laughs> In the ghetto. The ghetto. Yeah, it's a big it's city. Another shopping session. The next time. yard. Yeah, I was looking at that and I'm like. Trolls? Does that mean there might be giants up there? <laughs> <laughs> giants. <laughs>